which is one of the things they changed. Uh, <laughs> a little while ago, we we were in Lomash. It had been locked down by a group known as the Red Hand, hunters of Fey and demons and other such abominations. Oh yeah, that's right. And we were approached by a wealthy gnome by the name uh, who initially was a little hesitant, but eventually gave you the name of Memphis Tadwallet, who claimed to work for. Did you find out who he worked yeah. for? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who worked for? No, no, just. <laughs> I'm hoping one of you will be honest and quick to answer. Um, who you found out works for one uh, known as the Silver Lady, the uh, ma magical queen of Avalon, Queen May. Mm. Uh, Memphis Cadwallader, a very, very wealthy man, uh, hired you to sneak him out of the lockdown glade, uh, which you, uh, after some initial discussion, decided to go along with for a hefty price. Mm. You, as you were leaving the glade through the hole under the fence of the farm, you were joined by a wise looking human by the name of Savan. Savan. Or Savan. Savan, Savan, Savan. I think we should Savan. We'll go Savan. I like Savan. 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 Um, by Savan. You agreed to hold to the plan, <laughs> even with some slight changes in details, and snuck the two of them out of the glade. On the way out, you ran into some red hand uh, torchbearers and a mage, uh, fought them off, and right at the end, you found out that Savan has some degree of magical experience as they put three of the torchbearers to sleep. Uh, before you left, you also grabbed a few other bits and pieces. You got a uh, large academic document from Mother Trites of the Burnt Sage Hospice to take to the University of Rings. Uh, and I think that was about it. Um, how many hero points is there? That is the question. I've gotten some lovely hero point cards printed up. Woo! We have gems and jars for I thought we'd do some stuff here. So the hero point question this week was, what is your character's table floor? Mm. And then for additional hero points, you can do it in one <clears> word. Mm. Would anyone like to go first? Ryan. Fear. Wonderful. <laughs> have some hero points. Anyone else? What was yes. Overconfidence. Yeah. Overconfidence. I love it. <laughs> this is team. like a this is like a school <laughs> classroom. This is directly and, from a teaching test. And so everybody is, is way more well behaved. Uh, really <laughs> and everybody really is way more well behaved than my eight to ten year old. <laughs> I need to count down from five to get your attention, which is a nice thing. Yeah. Oh, bless. And we could do that. That is really cool. Yes. Well, I think nearly everyone here um, either has has uh, kids uh, or teachers. Uh, <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> Except for actually, I do both now. You do both now. You teach. I um help with the uh, kids' love. Oh, okay. As cool. in, so I, I teach the kids how to cares about things. Problems. Would much rather not give a shit. Oh, I love that. That's cares. Cares. That's your fatal flaw. You yeah. Too much. No, don't care enough. No. Cares too much. Actually. Cares. Independent. That's why it's a fatal flaw. She was, she's, yeah, she would totally see it as a metal form. Totally see it as a metal form. Can I borrow some um, dice off people again? I've got yeah. plenty. I've watched out. If you go behind, yeah. behind you in that cupboard, oh. if you open that cupboard on the left, left and on the top, there's two, like, drawerfuls. Feel free to pick one. It's either that or a royalty. Uh, probably the other. Let's have a look. Just in terms of which one's a robot. Which is that you have to take the second roll. But if you roll yeah. less than a 10, you add a 10. So a roll of a 9 becomes a 19. A roll of a crit oh, fail becomes a 9. Okay. okay. So still same so you're not wasting the euro. You're not wasting the euro. That's cool. No. I like it. It's slightly hard. It's just a sort of big printing order done. I've got a whole box full of them. They are amazing. You can trade in your card when you use your points. And the idea is because you've got them physically, you remember to use them. Yeah. Just stick them on there. Just Chris and Jesse, you'll yeah. want to upgrade your characters to the new rule set. Oh, okay. It's pretty they quick. They change All you need to do. Oh, okay. It's called Ignition. Uh, Here we are. You're level two now. That's yeah, level two, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, they just released new Yeah, rules. they've renamed a few spells. Um, you'll also get a whole new ability as a witch, which is pretty cool. Um, they buffed up the witch class a bit. What, what do I do? do? If you're not. Um, I'll, I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you go convert to remaster rules. Um, 
Do you I just want to leave that as a default. Yeah. Leave it on the default. And just hit accept? Just hit accept, yep. So you it's should all be And then yeah. you should be fine. I don't think they've changed anything from investigators or whatever. Just check your spells if you have any, if they've worked properly. That's a nice one. Yeah. Cool. Patron's pocket or Faith familiar? That's the question. Which would you like? Oh, they're both new. Yeah, yeah. so you get to open <clears> the <throat> whole new feature for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, which stuff, which is cool. And then once. Uh, I'll start sinking everyone. Okay. I don't want to work because the bloody. One of the guys that clarified the hours. So I finally know who you mean by that. So, so, God, I feel sorry for you. So, so, now I need to. So, what did we have? What's yours? Naivety. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, if, if we update it. Are you running those down, Emma? Yeah, I will oh, do. Awesome. Could you send up a copy of that to me? Yeah. Thank you so much. Sibella, what's yours? <laughs> what's my what, what? Fatal flaw. Okay, passed. Passed. Uh, Overconfidence. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get oh, my was the level two Punch those in, we'll do. Yeah, just punch those in while we're you should be fine. So Need a hand up, you know? Thank you. I'm gonna give myself something to work right. towards. And yeah, yours are all good. Jesse, you level two? Yep. No, 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 no. Rose Trasani, did you end up changing your subclass? You missed it what you had. I, I changed it to Flurry. So, and do you have any action? Those should be an aggro action. Those are an agile mode. Oh. Be, uh, five, I don't think. Yeah. That's a big money, don't you? You do have money. Yeah, dagger is agile, so when you use your dagger there, mm-hmm. you can take a, a really small penalty to multiple attacks. I don't think it'll shot. It might shot properly. No, it doesn't. So when you attack with a you can drop that penalty by being in the game. That's a nice It's pretty cool. All oh, right. Without further ado, let's get back to it. Could we have some good ones? Because in the awesome Christmas, I wonder what we'd make. Big bean. Probably wooden music. No, the music. Right. <coughs> yeah. You have all the right carrier the wood. All my wonderful Christmas. Um, um, so from the tree. Seeing what he's saying. Conceiving that some be things the fine fail. city or the well hamlet really of Low Marsh, knocking his, and are heading towards what we mean is a much violence. larger yeah. settlement, uh, a city of its own in fact, containing many many local attractions, a particularly large graveyard that's kept at Greens, the headquarters of the Bone Keepers Guild, is located in Greens, and the Urzats University. There a number of you who are intent on visiting. Yes, uh, you're also escorting Memphis uh, to that university. For uh, a letter of introduction. Uh, a letter of introduction and no small amount of gold. Yes. Uh, as you are travelling through, you're on the road between fanes, between glades. Uh, huge, big path, you know, enough for three or four carriages to pass each other at the same time as all roads are. But to your left, trees and deep green wilderness. To your right, the same. Overhead, a small slither of light between the canopy where this path is, but otherwise just a muted green light in the everywhere around. Can I get a marching order? Um, I think I was, I was at front. Yeah. Merida, so the in the front. That's always a sensible decision. Merida taking the lead, bow out, I imagine, following along the path. You've been in the woods before, you've walked these paths, you are a traveller in many ways. Who's following in second place? You've also got Memphis and Savant and Savant. I can go second. I'd be protecting those two. Bigby hopping up in second? I'd be walking next to Savan. Wonderful. Bigby marching in second. Uh, <coughs> I would be picking his brain about magic. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll do that conversation in just a moment. Um, Nick over up with Savan. Uh, Mordred protecting the two of them. Memphis. Protecting good old Memphis. Um, 
And Griselda, do you want to come up with that? Yeah, sounds wonderful. That it's highly reasonable. Order. Um, yeah, you got the Savannah. Savannah's been very quiet so far. Um, they kind of tend to look to Memphis a lot of the time before they answer questions. Not only. Oh, um, you? Where are you? Uh, somewhere in the middle. Oh, sorry, Sibylla, of course. Sibylla just like. pops out of the woods again. Yeah. In someone's handbag. <laughs> Sibylla jumping in along with us. Sibylla. Sibylla, you want to be uh, front, middle, back? Middle. One of choice. Always put the spell cast in the middle. Mm. <laughs> so I say just one. Uh, there's a trouble. Um, Nick, you kind of walk alongside Svan after... Uh, a little bit of travel. What uh, What do you ask? He'd just be curious on how magic works and how to how did he learn to control it. So are, he'd relay that he kind of does it accidentally. There are um, uh, several um, particular types of uh, magic that we uh, observe in the world. Uh, they generally split into the ideas of the arcane, the occult, the divine, and the fourth one. Which he remembers, but I don't. Primal and the primal. Most people are gifted with only one of the uh, particular. So there, there exist those who can tap into multiple uh, streams of magic. Uh, they, um, have you ever in- in- encountered someone before that can like punch somebody and the spell kind of dolls after they punch them? Uh, yeah. I, I saw how you you just wave your hands around and then the spell happens, but. It seems to happen when I punch people or I like, hit them with a weapon. My, uh, I'm trained as a, you know, a wizard and astronomer. Uh, as it happens, my magic comes largely from practice and study. If I were to punch someone, I'd probably just break a finger. Um, <clears throat> the, there are many creatures in the world that can do that sort of thing, and a few uh, intelligent beings, humans, and, and the like, of one with it. But I'm afraid I don't know much in the way of details. We're heading to the... Uh, University yeah. of Rings, they, yeah. that would be the place to oh, ask. That's, that's kind of why I want to go there, because I want, I want to learn how to... Because, look, I'm going to be honest, I come from a place where people don't use magic very often, so I'm terrified of it. It is, it is and, a, and then being able to do it without being able to control it, it, it it's really scary. It, it is a dangerous thing, and if you cannot control it, it can control you. Anyone having any other roadside conversations as you're going along, either with Memphis or Savannah, or with each other? My next is Sibylla. Uh, yeah, you could be. Yes, yes. you're near Sibyl. Can I just be like, where were you? Where was I? <laughs> you were, uh, Chris, you were away last session, so Sibyl just there. Was We, when we last... I wonder if I'm off, feeling real confused. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, I was, before you tapped out, the red hand had just rocked up, big, scary church yeah, yeah, yeah. types. Yeah, so and they're looking for the fey right. creatures, and you and booked it. Uh, yeah, booked it, it was our fault. So you probably... I was, I was doing that anyway before yeah. we... Yeah. Very much fun. Yeah, I'll just say running away from the red hand as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll as always. Yeah, of course. Cool. See, uh, Memphis charms and says, There are, uh, as I've mentioned earlier, many reasons to uh, avoid those sorts of uh, groups. They are uh, not the most friendly of people to keep in company. Well, they, they kind of mm. wanted to like interrogate people. I, 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 I got an issue with people that, that think that they can tell you what to do. Oh, I, I do. They don't take kindly to people that are different. Mm, absolutely, terrible, terrible. I'm terrible really stuff. glad I didn't show them how to do that, then, eh? As you continue along, and what, well, well, the the different conversations going on. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's probably mm-hmm. forehead and pulling his hair mm-hmm. down over the front of his forehead. As you continue, can everyone please give me a perception check? Mm-hmm. Perception. Uh, Merida. You can add two to your role because you are leading the group. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Twenty-six. Big bit. Eleven. Sounds strong. Sounds strong. He's good at investigating, not perceiving. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably perceiving in the opposite direction, though, so I'm at the back. Yeah. So You're looking um, for a I'm, you, you I'm looking at... With a 26. See, 22. It's... 22, 26, same difference. Um, I'm a 26. Sorry. Yeah, 26. I wrote it it's, um, it's early evening now. It's not, it's not night-time. At this rate, you will reach the next blade before it's properly dark, which is a sensible thing to do. Um, but you see, down the path, back the way you've come. 
a light in the distance, quite bright. Uh, it's even getting closer at quite some speed. Merida, you sense more than see it there. You just feel the ground shaking ever so slightly. Something coming up fast behind us. I'll draw my shield. Uh, I'd say probably get into the tree lines. At least get off the road so get out of its way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Move into the tree lines. Heading off the road? Yeah. Can I. Not too far off the road, just. Would you have pointed where, where it's coming from? See, as you point, <laughs> even though you're the lowest set of this light is getting quite large quite quickly. At this point, it's large enough that it's certainly not a lantern. It's certainly not a carriage. It's the certainly fireball. not a fireball. <laughs> it seems natural. It doesn't seem like a it's snow me. lighting. Um, and then, it's a to hear it. Oh, the sound of a great object moving quickly. As it's a train. Blasting to your left, an enormous cylinder of steel. I don't have any pictures of it. The polar express of a giant train. Yep. Through, despite them not having been tracked mere seconds ago, really? there are indeed men. Mm. Uh, as it slows down, what in the hell? Smoke coming from the carriage. Have we seen a train before? So here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe. Um, can we can we roll to see if we? Yeah. That is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get you to roll a straight. Um, you can do a luck check. You can add your intelligence because you would have, you know, you would have heard about them. Um, Sibylla, you're old enough. You'd be very well traveled. You can add two to this roll. Mm, probably that's about it as far as the bonuses go. I've looked at a fucking graveyard in the wood. I'm not no particularly. The main. Uh, we'll see who rolls what, but yeah, I'll explain why probably. Yeah. Should I, I might expend a direct point. That's a wonderful call. Use it or lose it. Refused. No. Do that as well. There's no yeah, way Yeah. See, had I been a player, I'd be like them when we're done dramatically, but I don't know, just refuse them. Okay. Don't forget, if you roll less than a 10 on your hero point roll, you add, add a bonus 10. So the lowest you can roll. Jesse, what are we having? Jesse, how'd you do? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Jesse, this is clearly a metal tree that has fallen beside the hut. And you have no idea what this structure is big. And he rolls a big Wait, he rolled 17? 17. 17. Yeah. 17. So I rolled a 3. high enough to know what this is. Yeah. But Sorry? if no one else thinks that, we'll learn a little bit of something. No, that's if you use this. 23. 23. 7. I, I do not think it's a tree. Mm. I don't know what it is. Not. It there seems are. very I mean, odd. This whole place Has is it odd. Stopped? It's, it's, it's stopping. It's slowing down. It doesn't look like fate. I'm going to get ready to fight it. Okay, so it is plus yeah. 10. It doesn't look like fate but thing. So if you Next. roll a 17 on your dice, then you add your intelligence. 18. 18. Um, add your intelligence, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Chris, how did you do? That's what I did. Can I hold an action to do an unarmed strike as something stops? Absolutely you can. <laughs> you see great metal wheels when you hold it. Not even I'm thinking of cleansing it. Can, can, I, see, uh, can I see Bigby like, born and his fist ready to fight? You can. <laughs> Is there a, Why are you going to punch a um, piece of steel, you moron? <laughs> Some kind of evil creature. Yes, and with your it's enough to notice it's a machine. It's clearly a machine. What's a machine? <laughs> Things of value. Investig- <laughs> you're not smart, are you? <laughs> no, I'm like on board with, with several crystals, not particularly of value. Capitalist but, um, pigs didn't share any knowledge or in the ways in the sunset. With a 25, you know this is a train, a locomotive. The dwarf, uh, the dwarf and the deep folk who live underground uh, have built great steel highways. They use these machines to transport people and goods long distances. Mm, good quality. What quality one's doing on the surface, you have no clue. Absolutely, with, with, with 23, what I know that too. Uh, 23, you don't know exactly what it is. 23, you recognize it to be some sort of transportation movement. It's some word train. Dwarven moving thing. Just, it carts people and stuff like You've likely traveled to the Underdark either as part of your studies or just, you know, in your time okay. adventuring. Uh, not going to punch it. Think, it. think of it I'm like. Still, I'm still wearing okay. it. Okay, wow. think of it like this. It's a, self pro- it's, a, it's a self propelling carriage. You see, it comes it's to a rest. Does it? Great plumes of steam coming out near the wheels. This thing is 
four or five times with your heart. It's what? big. It's clearly very nine wide. times. Come on, guys! It's just the it's just the four o'clock to read. <laughs> <laughs> we get a ticket. Yeah. Malachi so, would hate this fucking thing. That, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, 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 you see a figure in a bright emerald, uh, not emerald, a bright blue suit, white stripes, a pocket watch in their waistcoat, a hat, and a complete skull for a face. Oh, okay. Uh, not, Tom um, <laughs> well, not Tom Hanks. Well, not Tom Hanks. If COVID had gone badly. Landing on the ground. <laughs> is anyone, looks over at the six of you. Is anyone else freaking out or is it just me? Is anyone else freaking out or is it just me? It looks all right to me. There'll be no need to panic. Mr. Vic, oh, I believe you all are uh, scheduled for a trip. Well, yeah. I haven't bought a ticket. In our favorite check rocket ship. Oh, check my pocket. Uh, you reach into your pocket and you find a ticket. Uh, what's, ticket what's, what's, size. What does it say on the ticket? Uh, see on the ticket it says Sibylla. I'm not sure if Sibylla has a last name, but if you do, that's there. Um, you know, uh, Sibylla check. of the Woods. My pocket as well. Uh, one way ticket, the Winter Express. <clears throat> okay. uh, you reach your pocket, you do indeed have a ticket. What sorcery is this? <laughs> what trickery is this? I'm used to having my pockets picked like having people shit, stuff shit in my pockets. I assure you the ticket is worth far more than shit. Can I detect magic on the ticket? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that is a great line. <laughs> he would be more used to people taking shit out of his pockets and putting stuff in there. Anyone like to do any sort of check? <laughs> isn't it Anything like that while you have this. Nick's too freaked out of seeing a talking skeleton talk to him. Oh, thank you, action shakes. Yeah, oh, talking oh. skeletons, um, yeah, pretty weird. I've got one. That's about the, the yeah. up and down. I've got one that's in my body. Um, Drizella is Thank only you. interested, if this is dwarven, mm-hmm. she doesn't like the dwarves, but mm. meh. She wants to know if this is fae. <laughs> no, she's definitely fayest. I will tell you. Actually, give me a give me a fae Otherwise, we can do uh, fae phobic. <laughs> I'm not fae phobic. More just Racist. I'm going to murder them all. Yeah. <laughs> Racist. I just, You're not scared faces. of them. You just Racist. Faces. 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 Sixteen. Sixteen. Um, pretty faces. Whereas dwarves, dwarves are just short. Yes, dwarves are stays faces and not fat. There's no particular iconography that gives this away as fat. Yeah. However, a mm. train has just appeared on tracks that weren't there, and a skeleton is now inviting you in with a ticket that's materialised in your pocket. Mm. Seems pretty faded. Is there tracks? Yeah, you see, the, the train sits on big tracks. There's gravel underneath them. These were not here. Early. Can we see tracks in front of it? Tracks do run ahead of it in front and going behind. It's a steam train, right? It's a steam locomotive. You see a big chimney in the front, steam pluming out. Mm. Uh, you see the skeleton reaches down, opens up their pocket watch. Uh, close it and says, uh, how many balls? Yep. I messed I'm jumping, I'm coming on board. I'm, I'm so interested in this. Well, yep. like uh, as two of you start well, I'm standing it, here on my own. You and say, <coughs> we'll be going where we need to. Well, that's not cryptic at all, is it? Let's take out some fascists. We need to go to Reims. Uh, Reims is the last stop on entry. Well, I'm, I'm not the first. Well, well it's walking. Uh, you see a ramp is lowered down from one of the carriages, and you head on inside, Any, unless anyone does any different. Uh, did the detect magic show up anything? Uh, detect magic. Uh, uh, the ticket is absolutely magical. Okay. Uh, I don't think you get anything more than that with detect magic. Not at level one. Not at level one, no. Um, yeah, the ticket's absolutely magical, the conductor's magical, the pocket watch is magical, the train is magical, the tracks are I'll magical. I'll walk over to Nick. The gravel oh, is magical. Yeah. And I'll be like, it's okay. Oh, I'm already scared, don't worry about that. Uh, I board the train. As I board the train, I message into Skeleton Dude's head. Mm-hmm. You know, do you know the fairy godmother? Uh, you get back a reply <clears throat> of kind of it's strange. It's kind of distorted and fade, um, <clears throat> and just sounds a bit like. Thank you for your message. We will endeavour to return to you quickly. I cough on him. Where's the hot chocolate? You cough. Um, <laughs> I got the plague mask on. Uh, you see, as you cough, they uh, pull out a scarlet handkerchief and uh, just wipe off where you coughed on there. Uniform. As the last of you, uh, as you begin to look in, you see they reach into their pockets and produce a little hole punch card. Uh, 
uh, and ask for tickets. I give my ticket. You hand over your ticket, Giselle. Uh, you see, they punch in the letters. Uh, you see, they take that and begin to punch quite a number of holes in your ticket, leaving the letters M R. Not next to each other, there's an M, there's a bit of space, there's an R. Uh, and you back your ticket. What does MR stand for? Uh, looks like there could be space for other things. Do you ask the conductors? Yes. Yeah. Uh, you see, they say, um, oh, it doesn't stand for anything. It's uh, just the beginning. Okay. Uh, anyone else hand out, everyone else hand over their tickets? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Uh, Nick, you see punched in yours, uh, seems to be something that looks like a letter P. And then there's a letter C in the end. Uh, Sibylla, you see a letter R, a letter M, and a letter I, all with some space between them. Okay. Let's try to get C from them. Well, that uh, Merida, you see the hand yours back with an F and a T. Uh, Bigby, you see an L and an N. Okay. Um, an R and Y for me, isn't it? Uh, yep. And Mordred. Uh, you have also an F, but an, uh, an, a T at the very end. Is this spelling something? Are you writing all this down? So is mine M R? Yep, yours is M and R. They're not next to each other. They seem to be just random. What's yours? PC. PC. I have not. I've only seen the words. What was Meredith? 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 What was my... Like? Meredith, yours was F and T. And T. So we both got the same. Sorry, uh, yours is F and T, no. Mordred's was F and I. F and I, okay. Yes, that was my... Mm. It's, no, it's just my order from the trolley. I want some F and T. <laughs> <laughs> and oh. I love it. Mm. You see, you all get onto a, a well uh, organised carriage. So this is quite, you know, why the train looks to be about, ooh, say 37... Uh, 38 feet across, mm-hmm. um, two tables either side. There seems to be, there appears to be the suggestion of other people. You see what looks to be almost like the shadows of people in other seats. They have no distinguishing features. They don't look entirely solid. It's definitely magic of some sort. Uh, and they seem to be not in one particular place. One minute one will be sipping from a, a glass at one table and then gone and standing somewhere else. It's not entirely clear what they're it doesn't look like any, any window outside. From the windows, the train's still still. You still see the uh, oh, wood moving. Haven't started moving yet. Uh, as the door is closed and the last of your tickets handed back out, uh, you feel the ground beneath you lurch forwards. As the noise of the train kicks back in, you start travelling forward. Uh, the trees. You see the trees in the woodland uh, goes past into a green blur as it goes along and along and along. Uh, see the conductor says, uh, "Can I get you anything?" What gets his face on the window watching as we're going really quickly? Uh, this would be probably the, uh, aside from possibly Sibylla, none of you would have been on a train before. Uh, this sort of motion is, it is far faster than a, a ship. It's better uh, mm. comfort. Uh, Nick's mean, just sitting in his seat. Uh, certainly like, beats walk. Uh, like it's been given up. We don't want to read it out. <laughs> and, uh, what the tea in six, six cups, please? <laughs> that that uh, reminds yes. me. Um, they pulled shocking grasp out. Mm-hmm. Spell. Oh, yeah. So I had to pick a different spell. Cool. Um, Do you have any vodka? Uh, I'm afraid we save the those refreshments for after mine. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so they glass I could, I could, again I could use a whiskey. Yes, indeed. <gasps> <laughs> I can assure you with post haste once it gets here. Mm-hmm. Uh, they turn on the spot quite, uh, you know, uh, cordially and head on out uh, through the what we're calling the middle field. Mm-hmm. Uh, this one, leaving the six of you uh, along with. Uh, Savan and uh, Memphis uh, on another <coughs> seat as well. They're on board. And so are they with, they're travelling with us. They seem, uh, they didn't say a lot getting on. Uh, Memphis gave a little chuckle, uh, but they headed on. Uh, they, they, Memphis seems quite comfortable. Really? See, they These put their feet up guys. on a table. They're kind of leaning back, sort of. You thing. don't trust them. What we're working for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Memphis was a very rich, well dressed gnome. Showed up out of pretty much the blue. Uh, paid you a large sum of money to get snuck out of town. Oh, yeah, okay. Although, is that that same one that, that chatted to Sibylla yeah, earlier, though? Now you mention it, 
Uh, still so, looking back, well, yeah, this was him. also the gnome who approached you, asking if you were interested in some work. Um, yes. The night the red hand arrived. I remember that guy. Do you take a seat? Do you keep standing and look away? Oh, What's yeah. Who's there? See, um, yeah. any, who's saying, anyone saying anything to me? I'll, I'll just say, what is this? Where are we going? I'm not the only one's freaked out, am I? I'll just sit back and enjoy the ride. Have you been on one of these before? Oh, yes. What is it? Oh. Probably no one has been. Well, no, it's steam locomotive. It's yeah. also known as a train. Train. You see, at this point, the back door opens and you see an <clears> elderly <throat> woman pushing a cart. <laughs> uh, there is a large pot of tea, six cups. Uh, you know, sort of thing you'd see at a, a sports thing, large cart, wheels, looks like an open door in front, which uh, she slides along. Uh, it's a polite smile, puts a pot of, tea down at, uh, pot of tea down at each table, passes out some cups. Thank passes. you. Is there anything else, yes? Just water if you've got it. Yes, yeah. Maybe a, maybe a few, you know, little cakes for the, you know, to go with the tea. Oh, yes, indeed, indeed. Oh, this is a calming tea, because I'm petrified right head now. Head does this seem magical? Like when the tea? Yeah, the tea. Uh, the tea seems like tea to the best of your ability. You can make a check of some sort if you like. Yeah. I can. Does she seem fey? She? <laughs> Give me a nature check. That was a natural nature check. On, Ooh. I assume I'm This really is a mundane uh, green tea. It seems like um, just a hint of jasmine or something. Old ladies, mm. right? Couldn't be fairy godmothers. Pet. And they are bad. Eight. Eight. <laughs> not using my hero points on this roll. She isn't not fair. She isn't not fair. Drizella remains yeah. highly suspicious of the tea, the train. No. Right. Thank you. I'll pass you a part of my life. He doesn't want you want a cup of tea. I sniff the tea. Is the tea tea? It smells like tea. It's the tea. Looks like tea. It's jasmine does tea. Does it taste like tea? I it drink the taste. tea, which is bizarre because she drinks the tea with her plague That's mask on, quite a feat. and it just sort of goes down the front mm. and just sort of misses her face completely. I'm not sure if you get enough in your mouth to taste it doing that, but if you nope. did, you would taste jasmine tea. Mm. Scalding hot tea falls down in front of you. Yeah, no, I've got third degree burns from the, from the fate tea. <laughs> bad. So as you're going along, all bad. The noise begins to come from what looks to be. I haven't got uh, any the healing front either. Of the mm. carriage you're at. I've uh, unprepped my healing. Student, you hear the voice of the conductor. Uh, uh, Honoured guests, if you'll please take your seats. We're about to submerge. Submerge? Submerge? <laughs> submerge? <laughs> Okay. We'll be submerging in 30 seconds. This is exciting. We'll have to see this. You'll we'll be you're, submerging in okay. 20 seconds. So what Nick, does that mean? Nick visibly starts I sweating. I think we're going underground. 14, water. 30. Um, uh, so, yeah. Submerging normally <laughs> means going underwater. 10. It could be underground. Or under snow. Metal barricades dropping down. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is freaking out right now. He's <laughs> freaking <laughs> out. Time. Four. Woo! Three. I just put the table. One. Biggie Everyone, thinks this is a Please brace for submersion. <laughs> for a moment. No, I put my arms up. You put your arms up. Can I get like a, a reflex saving throw from everyone? Oh, yeah. Two of you who are gripping like uh, We're gripping the table like, like mad. Add two to your throw. Uh, <laughs> um, you can take two like for having your arms up in the air. Take two out. Yeah. Subtract two. Yeah. Reflex save. Oh, reflex save. Oh, that's good. Uh, Woo! Wait, that's a pass. Sorry. Pass. Sorry. 18. That's a pass. Uh, 10. 10. That is a fail. 24. Oh. 24. Yeah, I rolled a 19. That's a pass. That's so I'm just like, woo! So, Villa, you are <laughs> lurched back into your seat, bang the back of your head. You don't take any damage. Uh, uh, as you see, for a moment, the, the train lurches into the air as you all feel your stomachs flip, and you then hear the sound of something being moved out of the way as this train goes around, as you feel yourselves dropping down into the earth below. The crunching sound of earth and stone. Nick is just looking at the water and he's... As the train begins tunneling into the ground. Just freaking out. It's like a big drill. 
Yeah. Nick, because Nick can see how Mordred's just a terrified. So we just look at Mordred going. Trizel is like fucking dwarves. <laughs> uh, you see, as that thought crosses your mind, the shutters open back up and light begins to peer in as there are indeed many dwarves about. You see yourselves travelling on a rail track suspended through mid-air. You know, there is hoops of metal holding attached to the ceiling, the side. You're in an enormous cave system. Great crystals shining in light from the edge there. Many dwarves on pulleys and leathers, some of them on strange flying contraptions, mining away, carting there, selling their goods, that sort of thing. As you are charging past, building up more speed now that you are Nickel through path, the yeah. breach. I know this is probably going to sound weird, but actually... No, it probably won't. I'm more comfortable on a flying ship. <laughs> Thank you for your patience, passengers. You're now free to move about the cabin. Nice. Nick's sitting next sitting there looking at Mordred going. Mordred will probably get up and go to the window again to look out. No, no, Nick is not moving, he's just like you see the underdark. Whether your character's been to the underdark before is probably mm. your choice. No. Um Absolutely it won't not. mechanically impact on the uh, The Underdark, of course, is an enormous system of caves and the like that exists underneath main mm. Evergreen. While the woods are still a thing in the Underdark, there are still areas where fey rule and mortals rule. Because there aren't the physical trees, it is safer generally in the Underdark, aside from the lack of light, food, shelter, and safety. Um, the Underdark has its own set of caves, mostly the enormous monsters that hide in the dark regions and the deep places of the the dwarves make their home there, as do the deep elves, the stone skinned goblins, uh, the blinders, uh, the shades, and a few other humanoid type races. Uh, the main trick is getting to the Underdark, which you've just managed on this train. Usually, you've had great elevators uh, in the major cities. But as you're traveling along, you only see glimpses of that about you. You see something of a dwarven city, you see something of a great empty field, you see something of a crystal cavern, uh, something of a farm. Uh, and the train seems to be setting into a steady pace. Uh, the little four of you standing there. You see Memphis uh, looks very happy. Big smile on her face. Savan less so. Can I speak to Memphis? Hmm? Um, have you been on one of these before? Oh, thank you, Thomas. You've been to the Underdark? I uh, travelled there. Uh, I've been to regions of it. There are regions I've yet to see. Do you know where we're going? I'd say... East. Maybe northeast. And uh, Memphis, you mentioned, you know, this is the right time to bring it up, but you mentioned the fact before all that stuff all happened, stuff all happened uh, so that you had some work. Indeed. I require safe passage to the Erzats University in the Marines. However, there is another task following that. I require the uh, retrieval of um, certain items precious to my employer. Mm-hmm. I would be uh, most likely to be interested in seeking them out for me. They are not nearby on a local scale, but they are uh, very reachable if you have the time to uh, track them down. And what the, are you yes, and maybe a hint as to where that we might find them. The where is the easy part. They are located in the glade of Salazar Glum over in uh, Sa- uh, Seraph. And where are we? You are just up here, or when you go on the train, you're just up here. Reams is over here. Yep. Uh, you see that Salazar Glum, you know, to be this glade in Sarah. That's uh, near the capital. Uh, anyone who wants to can make me a society check on Salazar Glum. I should probably do that. Probably got the best society. Society. 27. Well, yeah. You know what's going on in Salazar Glum. 21. Uh, you've heard rumours that something bad happened there a couple of years ago, um, but you don't really know what. Mm. 16. 16, 16 sort of things. Uh, under a 20, you don't really get anything. With a 27, though, you know that about four years ago, the ruling family of Salazar uh, were exiled, killed, some, a very violent takeover took place. Uh, a rogue wizard uh, took over the entire blade of a small army constructs, suits of armor they brought to life, oh, okay. uh, and took over. And it wasn't, wasn't a communist revolution. It was very much not a communist revolution. That is about the opposite of those revolutions. Um, but you know that this wizard was a skilled alteration of the like this magic that could change people. 
and they had turned themselves into some great monster, said to be have the power of ten men in flight, able to fly through the skies to see in the dark. Uh, they rule the glade and have taken the name Beast King. Okay. It's a pretty bad place, generally speaking. Yeah, that sounds a bit out of that pagan. <laughs> it's certainly notable that Memphis isn't leading with it. Uh, you see, they, they mentioned Silas Fun say, I'm looking to retrieve a ring, a looking glass, and a particular wand. Uh, do you have flight? Yeah. <laughs> Some kind of invisibility spell that can get us in and out, or like a massive army that can take on this guy, because he's a bit more powerful than us, I think. I was hoping to ease you into the reality of the situation. <laughs> I have two things at my disposal that I can aid you with this. The okay. first is a truly enormous amount of coin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. Which you can coin buy can, coin, services. Coin, coin can get you a lot of things in this life. Absolutely. Well, if it can get us all invisible, maybe. <laughs> the second is that letter of introduction I have promised for the university which will be able to get you the help of several academics and majors there. Okay. I, frankly, um, I could retrieve these things on my own, or rather I could hire people to do it for me, other people. Uh, I don't have the time. My employer is very particular on those sorts of things, and I need to rendezvous with other parties. You've got enough time to go on and enjoy it. Are you sure? <laughs> are, are you sure it's not those those two wonderful words? Plausible deniability. Ah, oh, look, I, I have to sign a contract if you like. You're, I mean, you're invading a foreign power and stealing shit from them. That's not. Uh, Who's your employer and why does he need this? My employer is the most radiant silver lady of Avalon, uh, Queen Maeve herself. Uh, she is a collector magical items and trinkets, uh, which these three things are. Do we know who she is? Is this you, a friend of yours? Uh, this is a society check. Even if you, know, with, even you, if you all could fail, you know, Queen Maeve, uh, the Silver Lady, as she's often known, is the Queen of Avalon, the kingdom to the northeast here. Avalon has been at war with Camelot for 20-some years. Uh, shortly after, shortly before that war started, uh, Queen Maeve killed the dwarven barons with the gene. Didn't her name come up in the last book? Yeah, yeah. it didn't. Um, uh, she uh, is widely known to be a sorcerer of some kind. Mm-hmm. Any checks on her? 22. 22. Um, you know that uh, the war in, with Camelot has been ramping down over the last couple of years. Lots of people, especially people in kind of your circles, um, would just kind of have the general attitude that Maeve's got to be like There's got to be something that. Someone like May doesn't just the stop for doing the very much so. It's the deep breath before the plunge. Yeah. Uh, you want beat when you like that? You might get a few little mm-hmm. pieces. But yeah, May is. Let's see. Memphis would say, "I would be willing." Should you wish to retrieve these items, whatever. A very reasonable amount. What do you consider I mean, reasonable? I was, I was considering the amount of risk we're going to. It's going to be bloody reasonable. And if we find this, like, oh, star of gold a piece, where do we find your... Yeah. More than that. Uh, you can rendezvous with me uh, back in Whiteshale. Uh, Nick, you would have docked at Whiteshale many times. Great big place. That's where I'm from. Whiteshale, uh, here just north of Misclap. So yeah. you'd be heading from where you're going in Reams. <laughs> Over to Salazar Club. Where, where, where will you be staying in Whitechapel? Mm-hmm. I'm from around there. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll be staying, and he looks over you quickly, uh, thinks for a moment and says, I imagine somewhere nicer than where you are, with all respect. I mean, fair enough. I am a good friend of the uh, custodian of the city. Yeah, out of game, Galen. <laughs> Miss Clap. The Miss Clap. They don't have to be like the richest city. Indeed, yeah, it is. It's controlling that <laughs> narrow waterway. They have a toll gate through the only two connecting oceans in the oh, continent. Nickel, as it'll turn away from Memphis and slowly down. Down. <laughs> really. Like, so you know, Sometimes in, known as the city of a thousand treasures. Hmm. Nickel, like, mutter, him, mutter to himself. <laughs> Wait until he finds out who my uncle is. You see, he says, um, Except natural uh, I would be willing to give to you for each item 
10,000 silver pieces. That is split. Now, how many of you want, you want to involve in this venture? But you well, you, if, if we only with... manage to get, say, one or two of those three, you still pay us that amount. I will pay you 10,000 per item you have. That, that's okay. 10,000 per one. Yeah, yeah. It's thousand. just that sometimes it's conditional on getting one. And, and how much three would be preferable. Yes. And, and the coin you that's a lot of said, silver. said that we that's could use silver. in order to facilitate our acquisition of these items. I'll be willing so to give what, you a down payment just as well. Of 500. <laughs> that was 10. Yeah, I was talking about. It's an order of magnitude. You got ripped off. And I would expect a return on that should you fail to retrieve. <laughs> the oh, thing was 90 something. How do we know that these. 30 pieces of silver. 30, 30 pieces of silver. Send me less than 10,000. Uh, <laughs> I don't suppose you do. 30 pieces of silver. Cheap. That's, that's generally what the. I mean, the thing, that's generally what the 10,000 silver is for. That tends to loosen one. I can give you my assurance, of course, and the word of the most honourable and esteemed silver lady that no harm will become of anyone who is not deserving it. <laughs> That's a bit odd. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that because I'm like, I deserve it. I, th- I think that's, a, that's something we might work up to, yeah? Yes. But yeah, such well, a task is not hmm. needed. We, there needs to be no signing, no sharing of drinks, none of the like. Now, we, for now, I would simply be interested in your accompaniment mate, such to me as uh, we can meet after the... Cool. We've got to find out where this... What do you, what do you call it? A train? Indeed. Mm. We've got to find out where this train's going first. Uh, your train continues. Uh, as you look out, it seems to be very dark. Yeah. There's flashes of light, but then darkness again. And light and darkness. Mm-hmm. Could we have some combat music? Oh, uh, yes. as you all have a sense of unease, fill you as the music changes. Um, <laughs> I think it's going to be—it's going to just be a very sudden thing. There's no other way for anyone to know this is coming. All I need is a perception check for initiative. Please. Perception. Perception. Yes. Perception. 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 Twenty-five. Oh, yeah. uh, I hear twenty-five from America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 25 from Merida. Uh, what do I hear from Rosella? 26. 26 oh, from Rosella. 26 from Rosella. Uh, what do I hear from Sibylla? Seven. Seven. Uh, Big B, what do we got? Ten. Ten. Uh, Mordred, what are we doing? Dirty 20. Dirty 20. And last Society. but not least, Nick. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. You see suddenly the back door where the woman who delivered the sweets came from suddenly bursts open as the smell of peppermint invades your nostrils. As you see this enormous hulking creature, something akin to a stone construct, but made of purely peppermint. White flesh, red stripes, broken bits, a terrible face askew, uh, standing at the front. It is huge and hulking like a gorilla. Who brought a lie to life? And you see behind it uh, slightly smaller versions of the same thing. More like tin soldiers, but again, made of this crumbling peppermint uh, as they walk in. The smell is intoxicating and not in a pleasant way. It is cold, horrible, and terribly artificial. Uh, Drizella, you are the first to act. Uh, you see, this thing walks, uh, after punching the door down, this thing walks in and just flips one of the tables next to it. It does not look very intelligent, and it does look very angry. So this is in the train? Yeah. Yeah. In the train. We, have, we, do have a, we do have a map for this one. I don't have art, but uh, I couldn't find large peppermint stone ones. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, big one at the front, three smaller ones behind it. Merida, you're up first. Oh, sorry, Drizella, you're up first, followed by Merida, followed by Nick. Okay. Um, I am going to cast um, Guidance on Merida. Love it. 
Um, so that's one. Um, uh, two for guidance, is it? One. Is it double action? I uh, don't think so. Ah, cool. mm. One. No, one. Wild. That's cool. Uh, one. So it's plus one to attack roll, perception check, saving throw, or skill check. Um, I'm going to draw my bow with an action. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to... Stand on top of the table. Love it. Uh, movement there, bow, uh, guidance on mirror, yep. and ready to roll. Uh, that's one action, two action, three actions done. Mirror, yep. you are up. So is this thing looking like it's going to attack though? It very much does. Very much does. It very does much. not look like it came here to uh, drink peppermints. Why, why not? For a yeah, I was just How thinking far it's away good from us, uh, The frontmost one's 45 feet. The rearmost one. I wonder if I can uh, neutralize them with Ooh, coffee. Christmas combat. Yeah, Christmas combat. Okay, yeah. sorry, I thought that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Christmas combat. Merida. I wonder if I can neutralize them with coffee. I have a lot of coffee. You've got. Um, You'll have Mark as an action step. Um, Mark as an action step. Usually it comes up underneath with an extra D8. Oh, yeah, so you don't do extra damage now. You have that extra. Your second attack is easy to get. Okay. Correct. Well, I'm just going to go with it with my bar. Wonderful. Do you target the big one or one of the three small ones? Um. I have a target big one. Yeah. That's pretty sensible. That's an 18 on the dice. Nice. Eight to hit. Uh, so that's, that'll do it. Actually, hang on. Uh, work that exactly as a mark. 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, um, five piercing. Five piercing on the big one. And then I'll go with the second shot. Mm-hmm. So you, because you're doing that, you make that only with a minus uh, four hit instead of minus five. So you've got a lot of plus four hit this attack. Nineteen, I'm afraid, does not quite oh. so you get that first swing. The second one, however, glances off the side, chipping peppermint everywhere. Okay. See, so uh, it seems to uh, look over to the arrow and then look over to you, uh, and you see it begins to froth at the mouth with what looks to be sugar candy. Uh, Nick, that is you. Mordred, you're on deck. Ryan, you with us? Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Ah, uh, so they're 45 feet away? Yep. Okay. I'll move 25 feet towards them. Sure thing. Uh, so. You can either go around the table here, or I'll let you vault it as part of your movement. Vault it. Uh, wonderful, gives an athletics check. Yep. I love squinting at the table. Across the table. Uh, 18. 18 will do it. Uh, third, uh, what do you have, 20 foot of movement? 25. 25, short thing, you move 25 foot directly to it. That's it there. Um, uh, remaining 20 feet distance to it. So 20 feet of distance? Yep. Okay. So one move action, you can just take a so, second move action and close that gap. Out of. You do also need to draw a weapon if you want to. Oh, no, 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 it's not drawing a weapon. It's got arcane fist, remember? Go for it. So, he's gonna look, he's gonna. Like rub his horns, and for some reason, you, you, I don't know, you can really. He just throws a punch mm-hmm. out of nowhere. I cast Scorching Blast. Nice. That'll hit everything within 30. Uh, I can uh, fire it out, and it'll hit. Where is it? Uh, scorching Blast. If that. I can fire it uh, 30 feet. I don't have Scorching Blast for you. Is that produced yeah. low? No, it's Scorching Blast. It's the first level spell. Uh, cool. What's the range? Uh, 30 feet. Uh, emanation or line or cone? Uh, 
It's just on a single target. You can invoke a massive fire into the air around your outstretched fist. For the remainder of turn, you can blast targets mm -hmm. within 30 feet of this fire by spending a single action which has the attack and concentrate traits. When you do so, attempt a ranged spell attack. If you hit, you inflict 2d8 fire damage. Yep, so you can just target one of them with that. Yep, but I can use two actions to target two. You can do. Uh, which, you go, which two would you like to go for? Uh, first Assuming one. The big one and one other one? And actually, the big one twice. Cool. Yeah, you've got multiple attack penalty on that. Which is yet. minus and two. Five, uh, no, minus five. On the second attack. That's fine. So first attack. What are we looking at? Hang on, I'm going to check my weapons now. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. Dirty 20 will just do it. You see the fire goes across it. You see for a moment it seems there's nothing else, but then the peppermint begins to melt slightly on the front of its chest. Okay, so that's... Ooh, that's not bad, people. That is not bad at all. Uh, and that is nine fire damage. Nine fire damage. Yeah. Yes. And then for the second one, plus four. Twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two will do it. I rolled much better on that. Back. Uh, it's and that's 15 fire damage. 15 fire damage. Aren't you rolling 2d6? 2d8. 2d8? 2d8 for Sporting Blocks. Cool. Um, yes, big again, fire across that. You see the twisted uh, face carved out of the pillar so it has droops down a little bit. And Nick will uh, look, look at his that's slightly that's smoldering fist and go, What the fuck? How did I do that? And that's... Oh no, that's one spell that, you have the action so Yes, that's it. Good. That's all three of my actions done. Wonderful. Uh, you see the big one at the front uh, rears up on its hind legs, its head bouncing into the top of the train. And you see it takes a deep breath in as you see it opens up to reveal perfect crystalline white teeth uh, as it breathes out this horrible reeking cloud towards you. Uh, could you please make me a fortitude save? Ooh, I'm good at that. 21. 21? Uh, wonderful. Uh, you become sickened one. Okay. The conditions of the thing that, that, tell you what that does, the long and short of it is you're taking a minus one to a lot of saves. Okay. Sickened. Uh, as you see, it closes the distance between you with one action. Uh, All checks and DCs. Um, that ends at the end of your next turn, though, so it's not uh, no, it's not lingering or anything like that. It's on. Oh, it does. It modifies everything. Yep. Yeah, oh, actions wow. are fully integrated into this thing, which is very... It even drops to rank C. Yep. Yeah. Wow! That's nuts. That's second. Yeah. That's uh, it moves up and then makes an attack with its enormous peppermint fist coming towards you. Mm -hmm. For a 28. That definitely hits. Wonderful. Can you please make a fortitude save for me yet again? 20. Hang on. 25. 25, that's a success. Uh, you take 11 slashing damage. You see the jugged bits of peppermint uh, stinging as they cut. And for its last action, it's going to be another attack. Uh, as you see, it opens what's left of its peppermint-covered mouth, tries to go for a bite, but the 16, I'm assuming it misses. No, it hits. 16 hits, wonderful. Uh, uh, and you see this you are. cold, cold bite into your shoulder uh, with eight slashing damage. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh, Mordred, you're on deck. You see, as you stand there, ready, the other three uh, peppermint uh, soldiers prepared to jump. Uh, you feel like they're probably going to go next. Okay. Um, so, my turn now. Mm -hmm. I'll use my first action to move up to right next to Nick. Right up to Nick. Right up to Nick. Here? Yep. Um, second action. Mm, do I want to? Actually, no. I'm going to cast Protection on Nick mm -hmm. um, to boost his armor class by, uh, by one. Um, and all saving throws. Okay. 
So that's gonna be my turn. I'll just reach out and you'll just glow with white silver light. Wonderful. As you enter, you have the peppermint sedge salt your nostril also. I need a fortitude save. Twenty-four. Well, Twenty-four. That is a success. Uh, a really nice breath. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 bracing. Yeah. Um, but it is not penalty not inducing. Uh, and I'll just say to Nick, get behind me. Uh, you see, next to go are the warriors here. The one at the back. Uh, you see, its arm splinters into three different segments as it fires off what to be peppermint icicles. Uh, one towards Merida, one towards Drizella, and one towards Mordred. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one, which goes towards Merida, is a 24. Yep, that'll, that'll do it. So, um, if, your, if something beats your armor class by 10, you also need to let me know because it does extra stuff. That's for everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, only 5 damage on that one. Uh, you see the second one, which goes for Drizella, uh, flies through the air with a 16 for Drizella. Is that a hit? Uh, I think so, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's a hit. Comes in again, only 5 damage. A little low on this one. And finally, the third one heading towards Mordred. Pardon me, uh, 14. No. Uh, 14. Uh, onto the shield, boom, flying off. Uh, the other two that are standing there, one comes up to engage each of the two of you up the front. Uh, I believe it has reach. It does indeed. Uh, we need two attacks against each of you. Uh, one, two. Uh, got Nick one will go first. Us. Nick, a 21. Uh, that hits. And a 15. 15 hits, too. That is between the two of them, a total of 12 damage. I'm down. As you see, the peppermint skewers into you, and the Nick rocks. Where's the conductor of this train? Um, can I use my catharsis reaction? <laughs> Go for it. Mm. <laughs> Hang on, what does that actually mean that I can do? I think I can just move this the reaction. Just continue with that. Cool. Um, you might go down from this attack, Mordred, if it's very, very bad. Yeah. Um, as you see again, reaching for the spikes. I have no healing. So if Mordred goes down, we're in really big problems. <laughs> Just so you all know that. That puts, that puts me in dying uh, one. Yeah, that, is. that puts uh, me in dying one, doesn't it? We'll do dying stuff in a moment, but yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I Christmas time! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing beats a Christmas present like a new character! <laughs> 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 and a nice <laughs> That's super good. Oh god. Uh, between those Could two I attacks. Oh no, actually, I can only move closer to Nick, so yeah. I'm afraid you're pretty much stuck. I also want to stand over the wheel of yeah. <laughs> um, Shit. Oh god. That is 10, uh, no. 13 piercing damage. Okay. I guess I've better rage than I'll say one. Definitely need better armor. On a scale of no hit points to whatever the total hit points are, how you um, that is those two things goes. Now, you have a model method, which is great combat strategy, however it does put a little bit of strain on the front lines. Because one of them's dead. But Joseph, <laughs> that's you. Can I just add a point yeah, yeah, on that? Yeah. It, it's my catharsis thing. Mordred, he's got tears streaming down his face, but they're glowing with white light and his eyes are glowing, and he's just shaking. Okay, and Rapunzel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no, she's in a later episode. <laughs> uh, Bigby, that is you. Sibylla, you're on deck. Okay. Um, I see... Um, Nick. What's her name again? Nick. Yeah, go down, and then that's going to trigger a rage within me. Yeah. So that's my first action. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'm going to run up to where he is down. <laughs> um, so to get to Nick, what's your speed? 25. Uh, 25 will do it if you vault the tape. Uh, yeah, Going around, you won't have enough speed to run. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. Sweet, with some athletics check. Yep. Uh, athletics. So that's an 18. 18 will absolutely do it. You jump out of your chair, step over the table. Uh, what, what does it look like when Big B's raging? Is it screaming? Is there some sort of uh, magical effect? 
Um, do the hair yeah, the, I think, yeah, the hairs stick up a bit. Um, and then, gets like, and he just, and like, gets a bit, a, a <laughs> bit of a pack <laughs> going. Veins start popping out. A bit like Popeye. Fabric not quite tearing, but definitely straining a little, yeah. jumping through the air. Uh, Popeye happy to spinach. Rage, movement, you've got a third action. Um, I'm going to take a swing with my um, Warhammer. Go for it. Do you have At a the one that... Um, uh, good question. Because otherwise, uh, you are not going to have enough movement. Okay, where would it say? Uh, it'll be just in the properties that say reach. Yeah, no, it doesn't have to. I'm afraid and, uh, and you can't get there because you can't okay. get to any space. You need to either take another movement action to get in position or use something that has at least 10 foot range. Could he tumble through? Uh, that would be a third action, but yes, you could. Um, okay, well then, can I throw a javelin? Absolutely, you can throw a javelin. Did you even just jab with the javelin so you don't have to lose it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll it does, this, for some reason it doesn't have rage either, so I'm just going to throw it. I don't think a javelin can have rage. The only stuff that has reach in Pathfinder are like oh, um, and pikes. Oh, uh, that's spears. a 25 to hit. Uh, 25, do you go for the big one or one of the small ones? Uh, whatever one took no, down um, Nick. Prizes. I think that was the, uh, that was one of the smaller ones. The small one. Okay, uh, that is a critical hit. Yes. Oh, nice. so double damage with this shot. Nice. Yeah. So that's roll the dice, add your modifiers, all that sort of stuff, then doubles, and any other crit effects. That you so have. that'll be 16 uh, piercing. Incredible. You take this javelin, throw it right through this central peppermint thing, and you see a big <laughs> chunk of it just <laughs> fall out of its chest. It's not down yet, but it is oh, very badly injured. Uh, that's one, two, and three actions. That is you done. Yep. Uh, next person to act is Savan, uh, who looks befuddled and confused. Next up is Sibylla. Oh, he's not going to help. Uh, he's, uh, you can ask him if you like. Talking is free, but uh, they seem to be just standing there in their chair rather short. Alright. I'm going to... Oh, I think one of those winker safety. things. Don't go to winker. Uh, yeah. Here yeah, yeah. you go. Oh, thank you, Emma. Yeah. What I would like to do is around here... Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, cast what was formerly known as Acid Splash, though somehow has changed its name under the uh, rematch to Caustic Blast. I like it. Yes, so I'd like, I'd like all three of those mm-hmm. to make a hmm, reflex save, please. A reflex save. Oh, damn. Reflex all this new terminology. <laughs> I know. Uh, saves are nice and similar, uh, simpler than this, which is good. Uh, I have that as a. Oh, that's a reflex save now, is it? Yes. Awesome. Uh, they add to their reflex saves. They add that number. This one adds reason less. Uh, the two little ones go for that right. and get a uh, 22 and 12. How do I know? Hmm? Sorry, how do I know what my ass of go kind of is? You got like the third best one of the day. Out of this. You got a spell that the other people don't like. Clearly yeah, this is 18. Turn, so like, so if anything gets a 28, it's a critical spell. But success. I'm like, yeah, 20 yeah, kilos it's 18. Can't something go so fast. Uh, so I'm like, it's I think there's just no way. Uh, the less than an 18. Or even come close. Like, I was right behind him at one point. And then, like, because he was going slow, so I could follow his lines. And then he just went off and I'm like, yep. I'm going to on a critical failure. The critical failure take one position now. Yeah, so anything or less than an 8 would take that position. I don't know if you did, but the 12 fails. So just one of the three failed? Uh, sorry, it's supposed to be the big one. Big one has costs. A big one gets a nine, so it's just towards that critical. Okay, so do I just roll one and they both get the, both get the same damage? Uh, I believe so. Lovely. Unless it says otherwise. No, no. Uh, they all take. The, the, the two that, that failed take six acid damage. It's a chemical composition of this mint versus acid. <laughs> Um, yeah, you fire for this caustic brew, and I believe, if I'm right, that knocks off both of them. Oh, uh, they were both. Oh, sorry, the leader has still got a few hit points. You see, the soldier, though, uh, takes the brunt of it and just uh, turns from pepper mint into some sort of jelly. 
uh, as it just <laughs> onto the ground, seeping it's through the cracks in the ground, syrup that you and get the smell in the of, like, fills chocolate. Yeah, yeah. It does not stand into that. The leader takes a terrible hit as well, but is still standing. One of its legs uh, falls Very off, dissolves in there, but still balances. <laughs> Somebody get the chocolate! Uh, that is, is that, I believe that's uh, two actions then? You've still got one? Uh, I don't really have anything else I can do. So, if you have a look at the action sheet, uh, there's a bunch of you are proficient in deception and uh, stealth. So you might find something like fate useful to do. Yeah. A bit of deception that you have. Um, which means uh, you it goes to look like you're attacking one, and then if you succeed, it makes its defences weakened. No spell has to be within range for that, I think. Oh, that's a melee Within range of the target. Oh, yeah. I would think so. Yeah, melee, think. Sorry, what were the two things I was proficient in? Uh, the other one you have is... Mm. You've got you nature could demoralize. Uh, yeah, recall knowledge would probably do you really good, actually. Um, you've got good occultism training. There's recall knowledge. Um, yeah, no, that's on it. Yeah, it is. It's on the other actions. There you go. Yeah, so that one, you just see if you can work out anything about it. You might learn the weakness they have or anything like that. Oh, do I have to roll something? Yeah, yeah. so if you could roll me an occultism check. Uh, you have a plus seven modifier. Uh, plus eight. Oh, there you go. Huh. Hero point, hero point. Oh, yeah, hero point. <laughs> <laughs> Trade him in. Thank you very Trade much. Hero points. That's much better. <laughs> 25. 25. Um, you look at what you've just seen. These uh, peppermint constructs have weakness 3 to acid damage. Oh. So acid damage will do extra 2. Could have worked that one out through my last attack. Yeah. But, um, with a good to know, though. whatever, you also know their will saves are very, very low. That's, that's very good. Um, they have very little of uh, consciousness about them. Okay. Uh, Memphis is nowhere to be seen. Drizella, that's your turn. Okay, so which one looks strongest or most dangerous? Uh, strongest is probably this one at the back. This one's quite strong as well. Uh, this one's very weak, but it's the bigger of the three. Meh. Nah. Um, used to look on full health. Right, I'll take the closest. So I'm within 60 feet of the closest one that's at full health. Uh, yep. You're within 60 feet of full health. All right, I'll take the closest one at full health. Yep. Um, and I'm going to class Purifying Icicle, mm -hmm. which I prep when I prep my spells, because mm -hmm. um, uh, it's nastier than a Monishing mm -hmm. Ray, which basically just slaps you upside the head and doesn't do enough damage. Oh. So I'm throwing icicles because it was Christmas-themed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I um, you see... Uh, she raises her arms to cast. It's like sucking, almost like sucking her own life force mm -hmm. out. And then hurling it turns into like this giant drop of water and then throws as a giant icicle sort of javelin at this bloody thing. Um, uh, so it is a spell attack. So that's 17 plus whatever my spell attack is. Um, um, so plus eight, so twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah, that's a critical hit. Woo! -woo! As you see, this ice seems to interact strangely with their own. Okay. And On a yes. critical success, the target takes double damage, mm -hmm. uh, which is two d six piercing and one d six cold. Ooh. So, uh, so that's four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve piercing, and eight cold, Ooh. and takes some. How much piercing? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve piercing. Eight, eight cold, and takes a minus ten foot circumstance penalty to its speed for one round, as it is now pinned by a giant icicle, which takes a round to melt away. You blast the legs off this thing. It is hanging on by a thread. Uh, not many hit points left. Um, and am I? And I know he's down. Mm -hmm. I'm still going to cast. I'm um, sustaining a spell on the west. 
so I've spent two actions casting Purifying Ice Cool, mm-hmm. and I'm going to spend one action casting Guidance on Nick because it doesn't say the creature has to be alive yep. to be targeted, but it gives a plus one on saves and throws. Sounds good Because I don't actually carry any healing, as you'll discover. Merida. I may or may not have one potion. You can't have it. (laughs) 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 Sorry. Uh, That's my fault. You can have it. You can have it. Uh, but I can't get there. I realised what it did, and I looked at what it does, and I'm like, I'll use that spell first. Should I open the next one? Cool name. A rise of thunder speed. I just looked at it. I used three actions to cast it. I can use it again the second turn. And then the second turn it blows up and does even more damage. And that's four piercing damage. Four? Yep. So that is... Well, that's one of your actions. You've got two more actions. That, it's not down to your action. It's probably got about one more hit left in it. Is it within... Of my arrow? No, no, the, the, the creature looks like it's only going to survive one or two more hits. It looks very okay. bad. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um... Two other actions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got a cast Is it within 30 feet of me? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Yes? Cool. I'm going to cast Ignition on it. Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, in case I attack. Okay. That's a. 16 to hit. 16? I'm afraid that won't work. Uh, you see, uh, I think this is the first time you're using spells is, in combat. Yeah. You kind of go so to pluck a little of the fire works. off your wrist, but it doesn't seem to quite come through when you do not to cast a spell. Um, uh, it does still burn. She'll just mutter to herself. <laughs> uh, Nick, that is you. You're currently on Dying 1. The way mm-hmm. Dying works in Pathfinder, you initially start with a DC 11 flat check. So you mm-hmm. drop 11 on the dice or the Every time you fail to take that check, your dying condition gets higher and higher and higher until it hits a 13. If you fail that, you fail. Mm-hmm. Now, as has been the case in Randall, you have character death. Um, I'm always open to there being another option outside of death if you want your character to stay here for a while. But let's not worry about that. It okay. runs away if it happens. Give us a straight roll on the d20. What's the number? 15. 15? That is a success. You reduce dying to zero. You're not up, but you're not done. Beautiful. You still need healing to get back. Yep. Cool. Uh, but I'm not dying. No yeah. recovery condition. Uh, you see your your injuries and that uh, bleeding out of the bone from these peppermint scars begin to scab over with this strange peppermint, almost mm. crystalline structure growing over. Uh, everyone's injuries seem to be having this strange substance growing. Uh, the leader is going to go next. Can I please get everyone alive within? Uh, five minutes. Sorry, just the entry. Oh, oh, you please make a fortune save. Oh, no, sorry, that's 38. Whoops, we've been running that way. Uh, can I get everybody to make that fortune save? 23. 23. Uh, 23. Yeah. Pass. 14. Save. 24. 34. 24. Oh, mm-hmm. wild. Uh, quick success, not that it matters for this one. 21. Uh, pass. 16. Pass. Uh, sorry, 16 is a fail. Fail. Those of you who failed are sickened with one. Uh, go to conditions effects, you can add that in. And you're also slowed by five feet. Okay. Uh, those of you who've passed are immune to the next one. Immune to that. Uh, it's going to go, it's just going to knock off some attacks on Lizard, I think. Mm-hmm. That's much in the way of other things to do. Goes in first with a big fist attack with a 21. Can I shield block that? Uh, can you do that as a reaction? That's a free feat. Um, yep. but, sorry, a reaction. Yeah, if you have a shield block reaction yeah. feat, you can. So I take the damage on my shield instead. Wonderful, that's 13 slashing. Uh, I think I broke my shield. You see, I'm not you... sure. Actually, no, no, it's not. 
Sorry. Not broken? No. no. You hold aloft your shield, great cracks spreading the corners of the skiff, pounds into it. Uh, second attack it goes for uh, is a 18 to hit. No. Uh, again, pounding into the shield you hold aloft. And last but not least, it's going to go for one more attack. It doesn't have a lot of range, only an 11. Okay. Yeah. See again, just into the shield uh, as we stand for chunks of peppermint spraying over the shield at you. Mm. It would be refreshing were it not deadly. Yeah. Uh, Mordred says. Alright, Mordred's holding his shield up and he looks at the thing and he says, You hurt my friends! And then he's going to pump all of his healing magic into Nick. Um, oh, come on! One on the die? <laughs> you know, that's you that's I can't do it that, but that's still going to be an 11 because of my thing, so you've got 11 hit points. What are you using to heal? A heal spell, uh, two action heal. Oh, cool. Yep. Um, so you add eight, and yeah. because the target made uh, an extra two. Sweet. Um, so that's 11 hit points. I'm up. That's Not good. what I hope. Um, and then I think, I took my sword out before, so could I take a strike against the Peppermint creature? Uh, yep. Yeah. Mordred doesn't usually hit things. Nick, but you see that as your wounds no. start to close themselves about healing magic, you hear the voice of your uncle uh, yelling and growling as he did many a time. On your feet, Sailor! Okay. Okay. You'll, you'll, you'll hear a very yeah. faint yeah. mutter from the floor. Yes, Uncle, I'm yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. What's so so uh, that'll be it. So I got a 10 on the die, so it'll be a 20. 10 is a 10. Is a 10, 10 is a 10. Um, get a 9, it's a 19, <laughs> but 10 is a 10 is a 10. 18? 18. What are you doing, sir? It's hitting it with the sword. Oh, uh, not, on the, uh, not on the big one. Alright, fair enough. That's my thing. Uh, that's third action? Yeah. Um, you drop in the healing, go for the attack, but it manages to block it with its uh, crumbling arm. Uh, Nick, you're back up. Yep. Uh, let's see. Uh, Drizella, the one you attacked, mm. uh, again, summons up these three peppermint javelins that come flying through the air at you. Uh, how does a... Mm. We're rolling, we're rolling. Uh, the first one is a negative two. Is that uh, plus one still up, or is that the end? Oh, that's still up. Uh, a 21 and, and a 22 on the second base hit there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Second group is the one, not the same. Uh, that is a 5 piercing damage and 10 piercing damage, so 15 piercing damage total. Yep. Uh, that's its turn. The second one that has been working up the back is going to run forward and engage with Mordred. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll go in for a big old attack first. I'm afraid that is a crit. Yep. 39. That is 12 points of piss at much of the damage. Jeez. Uh, Mordred is down. Uh, Mordred, you drop down as the peppermint like, smell. Does the shield block last for the entirety of my. Uh, it should. No, 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 it doesn't. No. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, with that, it's going to take its that's one action to cover space. Uh, you see, its third action, it runs into melee range. I'm going to try and vault the table. At the big one or another one? No, one of the small ones that's lurking at the back just took Mordred down. Vault the table successfully, it goes into melee range with the melee guard. Doesn't have enough actions to attack. Big B, that is you. Okay. You see, um. the big ones are very, very nearly dead. Uh, this other one's very nearly dead. This one's still at full health, though. Okay. Which one's at full health? The northern, the northern one. I don't one. want it there. Uh, I'm going to run up and attack this one. Mm hmm. Uh, go for it. Um, okay, so... Um, let me just think. Okay, so it was the one that just ran... It's, just it's like, the one that ran at Merida's one that took one down. Sorry, yes. Was that one? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, Nick's going to get vengeance. Are on the ground, I saw the action I brought you back. Wait, yeah, my vengeance. wait until you see what I'm gonna throw at him. Ooh, this is gonna be good. I like this. I like this as well. Oh, that's gonna be a 26 to hit. Absolutely, that is a hit on the big one. Cool. 
I'm about to drop a spell. What is it? You're using to attack these guys. Ah, uh, the Warhammer for this one. one. Oh, Warhammer that's a D8. Flying through the air. I bet this is a worse roll than what I just did, too. You drop your weapons when you. No, it's not. Oh! Uh, that's a 10. That is a for 10. Damage. That is enough damage. You bring the Warhammer into the top of this thing's head and it crumbles into peppermint bubble. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then for my third action, I'm just going to point at the, that other one there mm-hmm. and just say, um, and I'm going to do a demoralize and say, you're stinking up the place and I'm going to get rid of all the rest of you. I love it. That's a will save, isn't it? Uh, uh, check. Uh, that sorry, is, yeah. That um, is a will save. Check What's first will DC. So, so, so. On I a check, check first will DC. Yeah. Check. Uh, so what am I checking? Uh, just, uh, Intimidation. Intimidation. Cool. Uh, that'll be a 11. An 11, I'm afraid, doesn't quite cut. Yeah. Uh, this thing seems too stupid to understand. Mechanically, demoralized will work. Just don't mm. uh, good use for action, though. Always good to try those other things. Uh, Savan, again, looks like a stunned mullet. Uh, Sibylla. <laughs> uh, the one up attacking Merida, is that the healthiest? That is the healthiest by far. Alright, it's about to pop a caustic blast. Oh, oh so another so caustic Can blast. it please make a reflex save? Certainly can. It goes for a reflex save and does poorly. Uh, 15. 15, okay. So it you will take a amount of damage. That's again 6 acid damage. Again, see it gets hit with that acid, and again, you're melting away the peppermint, it looks very, very sore. Uh, that's two actions, I believe, for that spell. We've got one left. If you're trained in medicine, which you're not, so you're not. No, but I can... Yeah, I don't want to wait this whole first level spell in case I need it. Um. If you're trying to demoralize like what Nick just did, we can set these defenses against you. Sure. Yeah. You could go for a. I could. Yeah, I'll. I'll yeah, we'll do that. To demoralize me. Why don't give us an intimidation check? Oh, I'm not very intimidating. <laughs> A gnome intimidation. Or three feet of her. Not very intimidating. Number? Ten. Ten? Say that one. Hmm. Um, I'll spend that. But you give it a go. Uh, <coughs> Drizella, that is you up next. Okay. Can I get some more drink? Uh, yes, you can. Yeah. Uh, so one action to move to Mordred, mm-hmm. one action to uh, draw an elixir of life potion, mm-hmm. one action to feed it to Mordred. That is unfortunately how the economy works. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that does a number of healing. It does. Hold on a minute. It does... Six. Six. Mordred is back up. Merida, that is you, you see one of these peppermint uh, soldiers uh, has run across the space and is now in melee range with the big one instead. Okay. Um. What can kill them? Because <laughs> the only one with any healing spells, dude. <laughs> Don't die. Um, I guess I'll just go out and my dagger. Yeah. You could use your hunter's mark thing if you want to, but you don't really need to. So it reduces the multiple attack penalty. So with that dagger, if you, when you make your second attack, you'll take a minus four penalty. If you use the mark, you'll only take a minus three penalty. So it gives you a plus one chance to hit pretty much. Is that my hunt prey picture? Yeah, hunt prey, so. So with something like a dagger, it's quite big. Because you, 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 instead of having like minus five, you yeah. have like minus three. Okay, yeah, I'll hunt prey. Yep. And then two dagger attack. Yeah, okay. The first one is your normal bonus, plus eight, I think it is. Sixteen. Sixteen will do. Three damage. Three damage. And then this next attack is 
plus. It is still up, but just barely, as you incredibly quickly you know, target with your prey and real quick down the attacks. Uh, that's your three actions. Yeah. Uh, Nick, eyes open up on the ground. So I'll start to do a push up. I'll start to do a push up. Uh-huh. See that Mordred's down. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mordred is awake. Yeah, but he'll see that Mordred's been obviously been taken down. Yep. Halfway through the push up, he'll flick his head back, and anyone close enough can see two horns growing out of, out of the top of his head. Ooh, that's neat. And they're smoking. Ooh. His eyes glow red. There's little sparks of electricity at the corner of his eyes. He lets go of the push up and uses dimensional salt. Mm-hmm. Straight through the floor to appear right in front of the one that's attacking Merida. Yep. And I'm going to spell strike it. Okay. With a new spell that I had to replace Shocking Grass. Dimensional Salt's double or single? It's a single action. Single action. What and then uh, Spell Shrug's a double action. Love it. Right. Uh, the, the new spell is Horizon Thunder Sphere. Ooh, that's a dramatic sound. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a character. 27 to hit. 27 will crit on one of the soldiers. Ooh. Fantastic. Well, I'd say it'll be dazed after this, but I don't think there's going to be much of it left. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah. 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 Now, Horizon Thunder Sea is 3d6. Mm-hmm. So that's 46 double. 22. <laughs> uh, hang on, sorry. It's. I got my 1d6 for my punch? Yeah, and what do you roll for the 46? 11. Uh, uh, 11, so it's 22 damage. Oh, actually, and my. Um, sorry, 26 damage total. Well, so you uh, go in, oh, jump out the floor, and punch this thing's chest, and it explodes around you. Uh, not with one of the smaller ones. Zero and Nick will be standing there with his, like, obviously where his fist has gone straight through it. <sighs> and that's it. And his, the, his horns will, there'll be a, a faint, quick crackle of electricity up the horns, and they'll smoke a little bit at the top, and that's it. And he's just standing there. Having a very nice dance. No, well, he, no he's just, hands just out. Uh, Mordred, that is you. There is one here with a few hit points left. Two hit points? Um, Alright, I'm going to cast. Days on it, so <laughs> make a will save. Uh, do you stand first? Oh, yeah, that takes an action. Well, it does take an action. You can still do that in days, but uh, you want to. Uh, yeah, I'll stand up. <laughs> That's uh, what he's dimension. I'll stumble to my feet. <laughs> That's what he's dimension. Uh, salt the cat over there. I want to stand up. And will then I'll. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that is only a six. That uh, fails. Actually, what would be a crit fail there? Uh, uh, ten less than your war. I've got no. Two. Two mental damage. <laughs> Two is enough, as you see. <laughs> what is this spell look like? Um, it's the light that's on like, his cloak with all the embroidery on it. It just flashes bright light mm-hmm. and um, blinds them. It looks for a second and tilts its head and then just <laughs> out the top uh, as it drops. Uh, reeking of peppermint as the smoke and the dust settles. Who can turn that on? We go to something. Uh, anyone do anything immediately in that house? Nick's just going to look at his hand, still gently crackling electricity. Is there a clock in the... In the yeah, I was thinking... Like, what time, time is it? <laughs> um, it is... Uh, you see, as Maybe you look over, over, it clicks on tonight. I'll have that book in there. It's the skeletal train conductor <laughs> with a uh, cocktail glass. Uh, one with a little kind of apron uh, thing there mixes up a drink. Uh, certainly, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Can I actually did something with you? Do you have a copy of my character stuff on your computer? No, you kind of. An old version. Oh, yeah. Did you delete something? Oh, it's just things like class feet, free archetype, skill feet, oh. those sort of stuff. I don't have a version of your level 2 stuff in there, but we can sort that. No, yeah, sorry. I'll just pick that something else. Yeah, right. Whiskey! And make it a double! 
to your list today. Can I start uh, treat wounding people? Yeah, for sure. Um, who's, who's the most injured? You probably. Probably you out of yeah, two of us. I don't matter. Um, <laughs> that's ten minutes. Yeah, we can only do it once an hour, I believe. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm just so sick of you. That's uh, a technical <laughs> healer's words. Yes. I'm not important. I'm just like, just drop, drop, the dog, drop uh, the dog. I will actually save you some time. You're about to all get sick. You can make the roll if you like, but... I'll, I'll start once treating it. Uh, you see the conductor uh, pulls out their watch and says, uh, My sincere apologies, everybody. Uh, thank you all very much for that service to the train. We appear to have run into some uh, slight resistance in our journey. Uh, as a thank you, uh, I'd like to offer you all free drinks and gifts on behalf of the Winter Express. Nice. Uh, you see, you're all given uh, drinks. You've got your double whiskey, you've got your vodka. Uh... What is everyone else drinking? Uh, Gisella takes her mask off as she's almost completely colourless. Um, coffee? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You see the skeleton uh, hands you coffee. Can you have a little nod? <laughs> uh, and you find your favourite drinks being passed out to you. Uh, as you drink them, you feel that you're all restoring. You uh, heal back to max. You don't get a rest. Though. Get rid of the so sickens. Uh, sickness passes. Uh, you see a couple of what look to be animated brooms uh, marching through the front door and sweeping away the large chunks of um, uh, pepper mint. Uh, you see the train conductor says, uh, My sincere apology, that should not have had to be dealt with by you, though we do appreciate your initiative in the matter. What were those things? Oh, uh, uh, living peppermint, they come in from the mines occasionally, back in Gumdrop Canyon. Thanks for helping. Uh, as a thank you, I'd like to uh, give you some gifts. On behalf of the train, you see, pulls out a uh, goes over, uh, walks out the front cabin. Bribery, so you don't go out of fucking moment or two with a. Is this so we don't sue his ass? Wrapped boxes. <laughs> Remember this. Uh, you see, uh, Drizella, a large oh, cylindrical good. box wrapped in black and silver paper, is handed to you. Uh, Bigby, a very small, elegant, uh, kind of dark blue, that looks like sort of like the box you keep cufflings in. To you. Uh, you. Uh, Merida, um, similar, very you know, small box wrapped in a deep emerald green, passed to you. Uh, Sibylla, very, very large, but uh, long but thin, uh, wrapped in uh, a vibrant yellow gold to you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nick, uh, very, very small, no bigger than a, a sort of postage stamp almost, uh, wrapped in a vibrant purple, passed to you. And Mordred, uh, kind of the size of a pen box that you would expect, uh, in a bright red, passed mm-hmm. to you. Uh, for yours to be opened at your leisure. Uh, if everyone is all healthy and has their compensation, I will leave you. Is this from the train? From the train to you. Mm-hmm. Nick will open, Nick will open his. Skeleton heads away. I, can I, I'll come over to see what you get. <laughs> Nick, you open up and you see inside a small metal coin. It's a deep brass image. It's not like gold or silver or anything the currency we have. Uh, you see on the face of it uh, is two uh, uh, a symbol, two strands of wheat that are locked in a circle, uh, and on the other side, a face you don't recognize. Uh, you see, as you hold the coin, it gives you a sense of calmness, a sense of stability. Uh, this is a coin of comfort in the coin of comfort in your search. I was, I was hoping it was going to be like the coin that he gets in Ready Player One. It's like a like, <laughs> free life. It's a magic item. Um, it is a magic item, yes. Coin of comfort. You, As you hold it in your hands, oh, there it is. Uh, you also have, a, have an inkling of something. Uh, you feel like this is something you would know well in your uh, sphere of uh, oh, criminal nice. friends. Uh, this is a tricked coin as well. Uh, when you throw this, it will always land. Oh, nice. Nick will start flipping. Double heads. <laughs> yeah. Not double heads, but just if you That's flick it, you want it to, it'll be heads. Yeah. You want it to, it'll be tails. Just don't get like <laughs> half. Nick, 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 will, <laughs> Nick, Nick will flick it a couple times and he'll just start giggling. Mm-hmm. Uh, who'd like to open theirs? Well, this is going to be For those interested, the coin of comfort will reduce the fear condition. I can just drop the fear condition. Pretty good. Right. Bigly, uh, you open. see, you open yours. Um, you see uh, inside. Uh, uh, what looks to be a badge, the sort of thing you put on the lapel or inside a coat uh, that reads detective. <laughs> nice! Uh, you see, this is a diplomat's badge, though a flavorless detective's badge. 
this gives you a plus one to all diplomacy checks against certain uh, people. And if you do a recall knowledge check, you can bump that up to a plus two. So it just it gives you a problem. People will listen to you. Yeah. Nick. Nick. Uh, so yours fine silver craft, slight like, um, snowflakes worked into it, kind of a holly wreath at the bottom. Looks very official. In, where it looks instead like of putting the coin in his normal coin purse, mm-hmm. he's got a, a breast pocket. Mm-hmm. He sticks this coin in the breast pocket. For us, let's say. Uh, who's next? I'll go next. Uh, Mordred, you see, you open yours and you see inside a wooden box a small, uh, almost like a uh, an end of a pendant, something like that, you could attach it to string, a uh, group of small feathers and what is seems to be holly leaves. Uh, definitely magical. It's not immediately clear what its function is, but this is a feather token. This one will function both as a holly bush and as a bird. Uh, as you kind of pick it up, you feel like you could command us to do one of two things. Either you could call upon the feathers or call upon the plants. Which one do you do? Or you can put that in the box. I'll call upon the bird. As you do, you see the thing you hold uh, kind of folds magically and a small little finch appears on your hand. Uh, you can give this a message of up to a minute. And it will pass it to where you sign. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Can I send a message? Sorry. Yeah. Can I tell it? Fly over to Drizella and thank her for healing me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see exactly that. A little finch lands on your shoulder, Drizella, and uh, opens its mouth in a recording almost of Mordred's voice. Thank you for healing me. I offer it some coffee. <laughs> uh, you see, thanks for the coffee, and then flies back even faster to Mordred. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, Meredith would probably. Uh, Meredith would probably fiddle with the box for a while mm-hmm. before she opens it. That's um, cool. She's always very cautious about gifts from strangers mm. because the last gift that she got kind of turned her mother into a bear, and mm. so she doesn't know what this could do. So she would probably wait until she's like at camp. Yeah, absolutely. With, well, uh, everyone else is asleep. Remind us of that yeah. later. You've still got yours wrapped up. Um, Sibylla, do you open yours now or wait? Yeah, I'll open it now. You open yours, you peel back the paper. Uh, you see inside this kind of long box, you see a great wooden uh, staff. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, you could probably store your wand in here, you feel. You could make this your spell casting focus. Yep. Uh, and as you can see, there are three heads on it. One of a uh, one that looks to be a very young uh, dragon, sort of, a wormling even. The other that looks to be middle age, and the last an ancient creature. Mm-hmm. You see, one has uh, blue eyes, one has red, and one has clear white. Okay. Uh, this will work as a uh, staff of fire. Mm-hmm. I'll just like, double check that's the name of the thing. Um, but you can choose whether the damage is fire, ice, or metal. Okay. Uh, this is stuff uh, connected to the three faced lady, patron that you serve. So, does it cast any of my spells or is it cast you, specific spells? You can cast any of your spells with it. It also gives you burning hands and a lost collect, but it gives you two spells as well. Probably scorching blast. I think it is scorching blast. Let me just double check that over. It's a staff of. Fire, is it in the normal thing? It'll be in the normal thing, yeah. Yep, gives you produce flame and burning hands. Uh, this is a level 3 self of fire. But oh. the special feature it has just for you is that you can change the damage type to be ice or electric. I see what's happened. They've pulled produce flame out of the arcane spell. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, Should be a primal spell. Spiller, Merida, Bigby, Drizella, Nick. That is everyone, I believe. So Merit hasn't Drizella, did you? Drizella. No, no Drizella, Drizella hasn't. you have yours, large, tube-shaped, black and silver wrapping paper. I open mine. You open yours. You see a glass jar, a giant cork in the top of it filled with formaldehyde or some sort of preservative alcohol, and in which floats a hand, severed at the wrist. <laughs> she smiles. She's very happy about that. <laughs> Uh, and She's extra over, happy about that. Uh, <laughs> and kind of swings through the embalming liquid and taps on the glass. Why did you get the cool gift? Uh, you see it crawls a little up the side and tries to push on the lid. Hold the lid. Um, oh, I let it out. You pop that, the most Are you putrid, oh. reeking smell. Oh. 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 As this <laughs> severed hand, uh, you know, chipped fingernails, green form. Nick is skin, furiously rubbing that coin. Pulls a hand <laughs> out 
and crawls <laughs> out the side. Just down to get some of the peppermint corpse. No, dab no, it he, under he's, the nose. He's, he's got the coin out. He's furiously <laughs> rubbing it. Crawls <laughs> <laughs> out on the ground, rides around for it, and then turns itself over and stands up, cousin its style, uh, and scuffles near your foot. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is an animated hand. You can now cast the mage hand cantrip. If it were a spell, you do. And it's an animated hand. Uh, it's act more or less as a familiar. You can communicate with it telepathically. It's got a speed of 20 foot. It only has four hit points. Uh, it can do a d4 attack. It's got minion traits. You need to do an action to do two actions. You've got an undead hand. You've got a little undead hand. Oh, you got thing. I love it. You I got pick, thing. I pick up the undead hand and I put it on my shoulder. So it kind of, it kind of rubs your shoulder with your shoulder. And and Nick's, Nick's sitting here with the coin going. <laughs> <laughs> um, I telepathically ask the hand whether it would like me to keep its jar to maybe sleep in. Uh, you get back kind of in your head. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I put the cork back in the jar and I put the jar in my pack and then I, I pat it. <laughs> yeah, do you remember you've got that there, Rose? Yeah, so that was the one. I oh, 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 amazing. Don't want to open your present. <laughs> I'd rather open it somewhere I feel a little bit more calm and ease rather than a random train that we can cross through the woods. Uh, the last time I got given a, a, a gift, it turned rather unfortunate for my family. So, precaution is best. When it comes to gifts from strangers. I don't know, yeah, this is. Just... I don't know, this <laughs> coin's pretty good. Uh, you can also use that to make a holly bush that gives you uh, some cover mm-hmm. and heal. Okay. Works as both the holly bush and the bird rides and feather token, so add them both. They're both low level, though, so you can switch between them. Big B's gonna pace up and down, mm-hmm. showing off his badge. You all, you all look at Bigby and just, just feel a sense of trust. This is a detective. They clearly know what they're doing. I'm going to finish my vodka and go get another one. Mm-hmm. Are these, so these items can be found in the standard. Yep, uh, they're in gear. Yeah, so if you go to gear. Yeah, if you go oh, gear. gear and then go add gear. All right, I'll look in Yeah, it's all different. So oh, right. you should have a search I already button. got it. You just go start yeah, with no, Sorry, I was searching Coin of comfort. What is... Undead oh, hand uh, friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid they don't exist in the calendar. The calendar is staff of the mage. Uh, it's a hand of the mage. Hand Jesus. of mage, yeah, but also yours is a hand. So you've got like a, 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 a aluminium yep. hand. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Mm. Can I have a look? Yeah. yeah. Nick's calmed down a little bit, but then he point, pulls the coin out because he's about to pull the Grusilla. So he's just, just be prepared. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to name you your little friend? Staff of fire, level three. Oh, that's right. And then, so the mechanically, it's these two spells. Yeah. Sorry. Hold on. Let me oh, I think I like this coin. Can I have a look at it? Sure. Have a look. Can I identify the face? Awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get staff of fire? I just like the fact that's that I rather produce the vehicle. Should sharpen this spell. It's really good. So it, it, it's going to become a nervous tick now. I'm just going to rip this <laughs> coin whenever he's afraid. Oh, shit. Oh, that's <laughs> I'm not quite sure how, where they show up, but... Oh, imagine if I... I, I, no, I then you get yeah, the animated uh, object spell and animate the coin. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thank that you very much. so cool. Uh, can you identify the face? Yeah, more yeah. than looking at uh, the face. Yeah, yeah. Give me a check of some description. Mm-hmm. Probably oh, society. I might have that spell. Hmm? Oh, I've got telekinetic hand. Yeah. So I have to go and yank the coin back. Just, just. So four hit points. Four How hit do I do that? 30 foot speed. 20 foot. 20, uh, no, no, it's, it's fast. But, it's not 30 foot speed. Okay. I can do that. It's magic. Um, Love this coin. <laughs> I, I can use Mage Hand as an action. Uh, you, you can add it to your known spells. So you, you just fully get uh, telekinetic hands. Got telekinetic hands. Okay. Uh, Unless, oh, sorry, actually, the item lets you use it as an action, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can use it as an action. Because it's normally two actions, so that's actually really good. Okay. And then I can get it to move around and do simple mage handy type 
stuff. Yeah, you can get the hands to do and so. I can communicate with it telepathically. It's got four hit points. Don't let it die. Yeah. Okay. That's that being... Jesus, yeah. of it. Given that I can heal like undead things, yeah, you if it accidentally it. dies, if I cast harm on it, mm -hmm. I can actually give it more hit points than it has to start with. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, probably has probably has a hard max of four hit points, but you feel like you definitely could heal. That's fine. Twenty-seven. No, seven. Seven. Um, this looks to you like the Prime Minister of Nimbus, uh, to the south of the Nimbus, the, the land of the south. Seven. I, I say, looks like the Prime Minister of Nimbus. That's an odd thing to have on a coin that gives me coffee. Okay. Um, you see, at that point, uh, you hear. Are they gone? And you see Memphis uh, crawling out from underneath the table. Uh, yeah, they're gone. You were a great help, you were. That's what I pay you all for, isn't it? <laughs> I am not. I am a rich person. I am not a fighter. I can throw a coin at the problem, and that is about the extent of it. And all quickly kind of sits down. Can I check to make sure he hasn't been injured during the battle? Uh, can you give me a medicine check? Examine the. Is the train still moving? Train is still chugging along. The remnants of the. Yeah, you see, animate rooms making a good use of sweeping away the chunks of heaven. Yeah, kind of come along. Um, give me a arcana check, I guess, or perception. I'll use perception if I can. Yeah, perception is good. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Use them all, lose them. Yeah, alright. Uh, 26. 26. Uh, this appears to be made of pepper. More specifically, it appears to have recently had an animation spell cast and it's now lingered away. Your feeling is these are probably some sort of like natural thing that happens in whatever the hell the cave is. Yeah. Okay. No one just so animated someone's... their meetings, but... Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. This feels like the sort of thing like you'd occasionally it's find like a stone version of this wandering around in like a really old uh, stone circle or something like yeah. that. These feel like they're probably a natural kind of thing as well. Yeah. Anyone who wants to give me a deception? Very funny. Oh! 21. Those of you who beat the 21. Yeah, yeah. 22. 26. Uh, you all notice uh, quite suddenly as the uh, darkness outside lights up again more, you're into another cave this time, uh, a glint of uh, fine, fine rose gold. You oh! see what looks to be a pocket watch uh, caught on the arm of a chair just out of the door. Grab it. Yeah. Okay, uh, this piece of the pocket watch of the train conductor had a pocket watch that you assumed was probably this. Wasn't he here just a second ago? Who uh, dropped his pocket watch? Okay, knock it. Knock, 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 knock. Uh, knock. Immediately as well. Uh, another similar, uh, just another animate skeleton. This one, however, dressed in a ratty uh, scarf, four or five different coats. Fingerless gloves, a uh, great big beanie, uh, seems to be gripping just to the side of the train. Uh, again, knocking on the window. We can I'll immediately run over and open the window. Yeah. And you see, <laughs> tumbles in. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And closes it. It's oh, a bit really chilly out there this time of year. Thank you. I just hmm. look weird. Like, Who the hell are you? I don't have skin. Hmm? Who the hell are you? I'm a hitchhiker. That didn't tell me who you were. I'm a hitchhiker. It tells me what you were doing. It doesn't tell me who you are. No, no, same thing. I am a hitchhiker. As you are an adventurer. Yeah, but my name is Nick. Well, what's, what's your, your name? name's around, unfortunately. Three. Fortune? Three, yeah. Okay. That's it. Uh, it's these six. six. This place is weird. weird. Um, single word, fate. Uh, plot device, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Transit. Travel. Travel. That's what the word you get. See, they say, that's what you have. Looks like your brothers. It looks like he dropped it. Ah, that's very bad news, very bad news. Can't drop the train without the watch. Is your brother the conductor? Eh? Okay. Where's the conductor going? He's probably trying to drive the train. And gestures vaguely up the train. Is there not another person that drives the train? 
Okay. I guess we go take it back then. Yeah. Which I'd be greatly obliged. Yeah. Right. And uh, so he walks over to the nearest table and kind of uh, sits down, in fact, with Memphis and Savannah, who seem to have no intention of getting up and following him. Can I walk over to them? And I'll yeah. say, if your brother is the conductor of the train, why do you have to hitchhike on the outside? Well, that's what I do, I'm hitchhiking. <laughs> they are the conductor, theirs is to conduct. I am the hitchhiker, mine is to hitchhike. Does he come he probably doesn't like his brother too much. He, he, he absolutely does. <laughs> uh, you see, he, he gets one uh, of <laughs> kind of dabs with a scarf around his ribcage. Yeah, I, 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 I think think find his arguments vague and unconvincing. Hmm. Yes, well, I want to start going towards the like, uh, Yeah, I'm heading, start heading up front to, uh, yeah. to the front of the train. You see, you engage in a travel montage. No, uh, you begin to cross <laughs> through the train. Uh, you see many, many interesting rooms. You see lots of storage, but also fine dining rooms, great uh, palizias, uh, Turkish baths, um, the whole nine yards. And mm-hmm. we're no we're other bars. about people that's gotten screwed over by Rick. No, no, yeah, no, no, I, I caught that. I caught Rick that. and Morty. Oh, right. I caught that. Um, you see, uh, what else you uh, you know, great music halls, I think, and all filled with these same strange ghostly almost the suggestion that people could have been here once or may be here in the future, but for now it is, it is empty. It's just an echo. Oh, yeah. Uh, but you... Like the shine. Uh, you travel on, very much like the shine. Um, you travel along, uh, and eventually after, you know, something like, there's no really obstacles or anything, it's just that motion, you know, you open the door of the train, you see, uh, as you're going along these tracks in the van, you occasionally pass through very tight tunnels that seem to be mined just grab a tube large enough for the train to can we fit anything on the outside of the window? Not in the tunnels. When you're not in the tunnels, then you enter these great caverns, uh, huge, enormous underground caves, some of them full of crystals, other strange plants that blow. Mm. One of them, you see what looks to be a swarm of flying jellyfish moving mm. mm. through the air, great tendril mm. reaching towards the train, coming slowly through the uh, you're, you're moving at an incredible pace, though, wherever it is you're going. Mm-hmm. Uh, eventually, you come towards the front of the train. Uh, let me awkwardly transition this token onto a slide. What? 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 Nothing but glass. Um, actually, the, the map doesn't matter too much for the front of the train. But you head to what you presume to be the northernmost side. Big engines, great wheels turning motion, uh, huge roaring fires, heat emanating out of every particle around you. Uh, and you see, uh, similar to the animated uh, rooms before they cleaned up, animated shovels uh, picking up great amounts of coal and throwing them into furnaces, one on the left, one on the right, driving the great wheels of this locomotive forward. What you don't see is the conductor. Uh-oh. Oh, at least there's no slide. Oh, dear. Seems like there's no, uh, it seems like there really is very few people in this room. Well, instead of bowing to the coal, they into the that's, we that's, found the pocket watch. Are there any remnants of like the hat yeah, yeah, that they were wearing? Yeah, yeah. Or the it's like the most popular thing. First class perception check. Like, like, uh, kids can like win a like. That's gonna be a thirteen. Thing like let them go. Natural twenty for twenty four. Like first class. Because they're all like the top. There's no other artifact. However, you do notice the door right near the front of the train. So like that's the river. There is no other side. Um, it's not open, but it's isn't not fully closed. Either. It seems to have been open and not properly latched back. I'll open it and poke my head out. A blast of freezing cold air. Uh, Can I grab onto Nick as he goes out just to make sure he doesn't fall out of the Sure. You see that as <laughs> the end of Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Last clip, as you uh, and Mordred, hear <laughs> seemingly uh, in exactly the same way as earlier, please brace. Uh, as we are about to emerge, <laughs> we will be emerging in thirty seconds. Do you realise very quickly pull in the door. that uh, you pull the door? You realise very quickly where you're standing here. If you were to be, uh, you know, say jostled around a little, you would be hitting up against one of these uh, massive engines. Uh, these scorching, glowing hot. We need to find someone to bonkers down. You have thirty. Uh, we will be emerging in thirty seconds. So. I. Put Eldermit back in his glass bottle. I love it. Who's Eldermit? The hand. It's my hand. I put Eldermit back in his bottle. Are those seats on the front No, completely ignored. And then put that very carefully. Are there any seats in here? No. Okay. I'll find somewhere to brace. Just find somewhere to brace. Can I just grab some rope and throw it around the pillar and kind of just hold it? Yeah. 
Oh, it's the power just gone out. Or no, sorry, I turned it off. Oh, that's all right. So that we weren't paying attention to the map. Ignore the map. The map is wrong. Just look at me. Find yeah. somewhere to brace myself. Okay. Um. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna get everyone to roll. Okay. <laughs> just in the interest of people doing nice. That is so weird. Mordred moved up once, and otherwise you didn't change any shit all the time. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, Drizella, you are the first to act. Um, uh, I'm looking around for somewhere that I can uh, sit down with my back against something if we're going to be coming mm -hmm. up. So. That is the immediate problem you find, is that everywhere in this carriage appears to be these hot engines of metal. This is a place designed to stand in, and yep. otherwise not. Uh, your options as far as that, you could yep. do it against the door yep. between this carriage and the one behind you, yep. whether it will stay shut or not with a weight against it, you don't. Can you go back into the previous carriage? You could. That will involve trying to get between this carriage and the next, so if you don't do it quick enough, you'll be between carriages where you might jump back into the surface. Uh, okay. All of you start putting together this sort of Okay. Um, We've got three rounds of action. Okay. I. Am. You can also act out of initiative here. I'm just doing initiative. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Drizella is uh, going to. Try and get back into the other carriage. One thing. You go up, you hand on the door, open the door. Mm -hmm. Movement action, open the door is another action. Yep. You then see that you've got obviously two carriages connected by a great class in the middle. Uh -huh. That makes a very small tightrope bridge. Uh -huh. You can either walk over this as a triple action, requiring yeah. no skill check whatsoever. Yeah. You can walk over it slowly as a double action, and yeah. you have to wait for the next turn, yeah. requiring a uh, middling skill check, so yeah. a low skill check. Yeah. If it's a single action quickly requiring a high skill check. Okay. If you fail, yeah. you fall off the bridge. Sweet. Then you will die. You will be crushed by several characters. You won't die. Well, so you very well I might. Will. Die. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. At this level, we will die by train. Quickly. Uh, I am we going to. Just... So I've taken two. I, I would so wait. You can go quickly on this turn, or you can wait. I would wait. Wonderful. You stand there, door open. Uh, more than your next step. Um, is there anything that I could tie a rope to? Uh, give me a perception check. Or crafting. I'll let you use uh, that instead. Perception will be higher. Uh, 20? 30? Uh, 20. You find that the roof of this has a couple of um, pipes that don't look to be, that look to be travelling in some sort of coolant, if you yeah. had to guess. They are not blowing wind. Okay. You could probably tie a rope to those. Could I grab my rope and try and do that? Yep, you pull out your rope as one action. Yep. You're going to go try and tie it as a second. Yep. Wonderful. That's going to be a survival check. Um, could I guidance myself before I do that? You can one of the guidance action. action. And then tie the rope? Yep. Give it um, a go. Plus one. So tying the rope takes three total actions. You do three different skill checks. You've got to put all of them to do it. So what did you say it was? Athletics? Uh, survival. Survival? I believe. Let me just check. By which I mean crafting. Crafting. I believe. The time rope is crafting. Yeah, we're going to call it crafting. Uh, 17. 17, that is oh, one. Oh, sorry, 18. 18, that is one of three passes. Yep. That's your turn done. Uh, Nick, what would you like to do? You can see Drizella seems to be planning to... Door I. I will hold the door and open. So you need three to get the knot totally done, but you start tying the knot succeed. Same with... Um, Picking locks and a couple of other kind of long activities in this requires three skill checks across yeah. three actions. To do yeah. Rope tying. Them. I will hold because because I'm going to go on my next uh -huh. turn. I will hold the door if anybody else wants to go through it. Good to know. Uh, Nick, you see. I'm going, going to the door. Yeah. Yeah. Times I'll, I'll going also yell door. out. Um, anyone who wants to hold on, hold on. To me. 
How many people that will hold is an interesting question. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going for the door. People, please, please I'm going for the, the door. door. You're going for the door? Yeah. Are you going to one movement action to get to the door? door. Are you going to take two actions and a skill check? Or are you going to wait till next round and try to take two, two actions and a skill check? Action and a skill check? So, we're just trying to get out of this carriage. So the problem is, is that when you when the train breaks the surface, it shakes around. It's going to shake and bounce a whole lot. And it's all the next car 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 thing. You're in like a car engine, room, so yeah. everything is burning hot and everything. So if you get jostled against yeah. it, you're going to be burned. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you're trying to get out of fire, so it holds still. Acrobatics. That's a natural twenty-four. Twenty-four. <laughs> Uh, you walk across as you would the whatever you call the wooden bit that holds the sail in place. Uh, you are back home for a brief moment. Uh, across, no problems at all. Um, you are currently standing between the two carriages at the door to the foot. Okay, the so I'll, I'll, I'll First be... action, next turn. Next yep. turn. Next turn. Uh, Merida, that is you. So Nick has run back a carriage. Uh, Mordred appears to be tying a rope to something on the roof. What would you like to try? Um... Could I help Mordred secure the rope you a bit absolutely better? absolutely can. It's going to take you one action to move close to Mordred, yep. and then we can do a crafting check to try to do that. Crafting? Mm-hmm. Can't be like survival or anything, because locks are survival. Uh, do you have survival? I do. Yeah, no survival. Uh, then look, you're a ranger. I'll allow you to look. Yeah. Because locks are survival. I don't see it anywhere, so I'm going to just make a ruling. Yeah, you can use survival because you're a ranger. Cool. Uh, well, that's yeah, that was a plus one. 21, that absolutely is a help back, a successful help action. I can add an extra one to the next uh, after the check. You go over there, give some helpful hints of uh, rope tying, that sort of thing. You know, grab it, pull it extra tight, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, that's two of your actions. Your third action you still have. You might want to try to work out if this will hold the weight of two. Yeah. Um, that'll be a null check of some sort, that's probably, that'll be crafting. Crafting? Yes. Yeah. Try to tell the structure of the data for this thing. Crafting That is a 17. 17? Um, you're relatively confident this will hold two people. You don't know if it will hold a third. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would call it and communicate to anyone else that's still on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bigby, that's you. You're like half a person. What's the um? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what's um? What's the format of? <laughs> it's lava. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because if it's wooden or mm. like a thin metal, mm. I would like to transform into my into my animal form and just mm. plunge my claws into. That's it. I, that's I li- that <laughs> it's, it's I like that. It's a metal with lots of holes. Okay, sick. You absolutely get a massive grip on my fist. That is very creative. Have a hero point. Yeah! Love that. You shift claws in ground. You've got about 45 minutes to use it. And someone else could, and like, Sibylla, if you you don't think you can get out of here, then you can have a little bit. Sean the cat, too. I love that. Sean the cat just. (laughs) Sibylla, you're the. Yeah, I'm jumping onto one of the ropes of one of these guys. Yeah. Yep. Oh, well, um, I mean, I said so that this is one of the two of them holding the rope. Um, <laughs> yeah. you would, do you warn that you don't know if it will hold the Yeah, I, yeah. S- I said that I would call out and communicate to anyone else. For a small the thing, carriage. Yeah, it's still a third person. Very small thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. You two can use the rope. I'll go. <laughs> 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 I'll just stand there and be like, Mordred, you can go and help Mordred. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm standing there at the door. All you have to do is get across. You're across. I'm across. I'm at the other door. Yeah. You're Just currently at the exterior of the door. I'll throw a piece of rope along so that it can, if they fall off, you can just drag them back on. Uh, it, you could do any of those things, but Sibylla, right now, you've got one action to move close to the rope. What are your other two actions? Uh, grab the rope. You grab the rope. That is the second action. Uh, do you want to try and help with the tying of the rope? Yeah. Sure. Because it's soft. I mean, 
<laughs> Ooh, I'd have to be crop. Wouldn't be hard to get in on that. Oh wow, you've got amazing crop. Well, I don't know how much that would be. Like, <laughs> you're better than roll better than that. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen. That is the season. season. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. Plus two to that stuff. Uh, Drizella, <laughs> is you. I'm going to use three actions to go across that. You take three actions to carefully walk across and get to the door that Nick is you probably about to open. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mordred has three, three times. Three times. So this is round two of three. Mordred, you can uh, jump, jump in the, the air at the exact moment <laughs> that it crashes. You break just slam into the wall. <laughs> really yeah, like, you should, you should <laughs> do that when you get an elevator oh, as well. Yeah. I watched a video on it. The uh, Mythbox has like, proved that it'll kill you just as fast. Yeah. If it's anything, you'll probably get worse injuries. Mordred, what are you going to do? Continue doing this rope, I guess. You're trying to tie the rope. Is it possible at all to use anything else? or? Uh, pitch me why you can use on this floor. Um, really? Okay, so I'm really going to use in the, You've got the method. I try and tie myself to it. Uh-huh. And would I be able to use to my second so, I mean, like, you can, to can to just go to the next the carriage. Mm-hmm. So, so you, can use, you can use, like, I literally use just one, one action. Yeah. yeah. To get to, okay. to, the, to, the, to the door, and then the whole next turn, you just you, you use, you use all three actions. To just go across the carriage. But the end of that turn is when we go on one. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But she won't be. She won't be secure. Yeah. She won't be across the door. We're at the door. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to need to use craft on this one. That's not bad. That's not bad. Sixteen. Sixteen. Just enough to pass the time. Sort of You tie the rope. That's what I was trying to tell you. Like those two. However, three of you on the rope. Yeah. You do not know if it will hold three. What do you do with your third action? Fill up. Grown in it. <laughs> Is there anything that I could hit the before? <laughs> Sorry, just give me one second. One. You hear over the speaker. Uh, impact in 20 seconds. Ah, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh. So I'm tied to it. Mm-hmm. So I can't really go and sacrifice myself. You could untie yourself and then try to do that on the last Don't round. do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I would say Mera should probably add some more. Can I? But, uh, Drizella has also moved across, and the door is now going to be held open, so that would have a connection. It's not to the open. concern the ropes, not the holes, the pipes. Correct. Mm-hmm. So adding more ropes is going to help. Yeah. Correct. There's not really much that I can do. Then I'll leave you to think on that third yeah, action. Yeah, sorry. Nick, what are you up to? I'm opening the door. I'm opening the door, that's one action, moving through it as a second action. Yep. Third foot action, you want to do anything? Um, can I go behind the door? Yeah, you can to hold, hold it open. Yeah, you can hold yeah I was going to say, yeah, 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 hold it open for... Uh, you do that, which means Drizella can go in very easily. Uh, Merida, Mordred, pardon me. If I conjured my holy bush, uh-huh. that I can, would that provide any kind of cushioning cover? Um, uh, that will probably give me you uh, half the damage if you bump into the holy bush next to the fire. Yeah. So it'll still hurt quite a bit, but it will be less likely to kill you. I'll do that. Wonderful. You, uh, so you're gonna let go of the rope, or I'm holding onto the rope. It's holding onto the rope and it. just come in the holy bush as well. Yeah, if I can do that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that'll work for you. The other two won't be impacted by the holy bush if it breaks. Uh, Nick, you go through. Merida. Uh, it says that. Sorry. No, no. It says that the holy bush fills a single square. Would I be able to do that, say, behind Sibylla mm-hmm. or someone to protect them to give them? Yeah, you can do it for one person. Yeah, I'll do it for Sibylla. Wonderful, you Because she's the smallest, so she'll... Merida, you've got rope, it's tied steady, you're holding on, and you anything other than tuck her down and, and be ready. Could I have like a little inspection? Could this, in, this inspecting the pipe work to kind of see how strong and stable yeah. it might be? Yeah, a bit crafting check. Yeah. And try that up to three times on this turn, so if you go... The DC doesn't produce each time to fail. Another 18. 18. Uh, it will not hold three. Okay. Um, in that case, then I will make a dash for the door. Wonderful. You, uh, you're not tied to it or anything, so you can just no, move yeah, the I'll, I'll say to. So, one action is to check. the door. Second action, you move to the door. Third so action, you open the door to the outside. Yeah. It hasn't um, Nick got it open. So, Nick, so there's two he's doors. Got the so there's other one door open. in the first cabin, and one door in the second cabin. Yeah, so he's got the, the second cabin. Second cabin is open. Mm-hmm. First door, um, 
There, it's just open. You could run through. Okay. But yeah. you don't have the action on the floor this turn. That's fine. Big B, you are holding on tight. Sean is grabbing onto you. I, you I can do something if you want to, but otherwise. Yeah, of course. I Stay would there. communicate that the pipes are dark people with candle yeah. too. Uh, Sibylla, you're holding onto the pipe. You know one only has two. What's your move? Uh, I can't get through the door the other side, can I? You could do. Okay. Um, so you use one action to get there. Okay, so you can use one action to move to the exit. And two with a check. Two with a right. check to get across, or you could uh, wait till the very last moment and go across with three. And what's the check I would have to do? I won't tell you that for free. I'll oh. let you make a check to try to work out what the DC is using another action mode. Awesome. I'll, I'll go move one mm-hmm. and then open. Is it open? For it, the it's, door's so, already open. So five. Merida's mm-hmm. got it held open and Nick has the other one open, so you're, you're good to just run straight through them. Yep. So you'll take, you can take a double run across with a skill check. All right, I'll do that. Go for it. Give us an acro- uh, acrobatics check. 12. Merida runs across the Lincoln. Sibylla. Sorry, Sibylla yeah, runs across the two carriages. Misplaces a foot and begins to fall. Oh, no. oh, if no one interferes, you will fall off the train. Holy and almost so. <laughs> uh, you, have, you see at the end of that, uh, you hear uh, impact in 10 seconds. You have one round of action. Drizella, what would you like to do? Oh, God. I'm sorry, everyone. No, it's not your fault. What is the whole issue here? The Did God dice knock. I've used all my hair. Especially your Oh no. Sibylla has fallen off the train. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the train. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in the next carriage, yeah. You're in the next carriage with an open. Drizella, you're ready to go across. Uh, Mordred is at the rope. Uh, Merida is holding open the back door. Sibby's stuck it in. Sibylla has just fallen. Ah, I can uh, read your face. I don't know what What would you have to do? <laughs> your fate you are standing the closest to the I know. How many of my? How much of my action economy will it take me to try and catch Sibylla? So, I'm going to do a very similar offer here. You can do that safely if you use your entire turn to grab Sibylla. You and Sibylla then will be outside the cabins when the train hits. You'll have one hand on the door, one hand on Sibylla. So you'll make a save. Failing that, you'll be dismissed. And the you can use time. two actions, which will let you grab Sibylla, do a check not for both or one of you to fall off and then get back on the train. Mm-hmm. Or you can do one action, which will allow you to get fully in and close the door, which will be the best shot, but it'll be a high DC to be able to grab Sibylla and you need one Well, action. I can close the door. You could close the door. Because <laughs> he's only going to say the door. both can die. <laughs> I can close the door. You could just close the door on the main. No, 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 I mean, I can close the door once they're through. So there's probably not much to be gained from doing the one action risk. So, two action two. two. And what uh, check would it be to and try and. The check is going to be acrobatics. Pardon? The check will be acrobatics. Alright. So you'll be able to get inside yeah, and try right. and get back on the train and brace yeah. yourself so you might. Give us an acrobatic check. If you see Sibylla misstep and begins to fall to the side. Sibylla, are you doing anything helpful in this? <laughs> Sibylla has no action upon the Fuck sake. Sibylla gets a turn, but I don't know if Sibylla can save herself from that turn. Um, can Nick help by holding one of Drizella's arms? Nick can do that. We'll However, if something goes wrong, we'll be we're all out. out. No, it's fine. I wouldn't do that. Then. <laughs> Everyone's dead. You okay. Me, just like we'll so be Twenty-two. Incredible. Perfect. You go well in, grab the back of Sibylla's clothes, pull you back. You're inside the train. I was ready nice. with my hero points. Two action, movement back in. You're all good. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. sit down mm-hmm. and hold on. Freaking out. Mordred, you're inside the rope. You're kind of the only one on the, um, uh, you uh, on the rope. Yeah. <laughs> Can you do anything? Um, could I cast guidance on Merida? Uh, sure. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah, it does. Wonderful. Uh, guidance. Yeah. Hold tight and tune. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll kind of just hold on. Uh, mm-hmm. Nick, your turn is you to close the door. Closing the door, batten down the hatches. 
Absolutely. As I'm standing on the other side about to freaking come over, oh, yeah, I see how it is. Okay. No, no, you don't have to now because she, she, to... she's left, so oh, you can just okay. jump on the yeah, wall. Yeah, I'm just holding on to you. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're still on that part of it. I was keeping these two in this that side. One, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, one one on the right. She was going to go she across on her next. Yeah, I was going to go across, but she so, went across instead. Meredith, your turn. You go back to I'll the go road. back to the road. Wonderful. That's movement action, grab action, and a captain man action. Yeah. yeah. Uh, five, four, three. Uh, big beat. You're doing anything else? You just. You know, <laughs> hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Uh, you see, as you do, you look through the bars and you see laying underneath the flooring, you see the skeleton conductor uh, who makes eye contact with you and just says, Evening. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, Evening. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be in this train. Two, one, uh, Sibylla, uh, you have been saved from falling and pulled into the cabin, you don't need to take any actions. Uh, as, boom, same thing. Uh, I would say fortitude save, but you all positioned yourselves fine. The three of you in the back cabin get lurched about a bit. Those who have something to hold on to get rage against it uh, as the train plunges through into a white light coming in all the windows. The bright light of the sun again after your several hours underground as you are on the icy tracks of snow. Mm-hmm. You all manage to survive some rope burn and a twisted ankle side. Mm. Uh, those three in the back three in the front, what are you saying to each other? I'll, I'll look at you and I'll be like, are you, are you okay? Um, Meredith will kind of grind her feet and go, this is, this is, this is crazier than usual, isn't it? I think our lives are starting to get pretty crazy. You see a trap door open up. Found the conductor. <laughs> <laughs> open up here and you begin as the conductor comes out. <coughs> uh, my sincere apologies, usually passengers are in the Seated area for that. Um, Drizella message. Drizella um, sends a message to mm-hmm. Mordred. Uh, is everybody alive in there? And I can reply. Yep. yep. We're all safe. Is everyone with you? Mm. Everybody's fine. Okay. I'll walk in holding the, the, the watch. This is why we're up here. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Takes the watch. <laughs> it's that's it's very good. That was like worth the last twenty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I must apologise. Back point, everyone please make me a reflex saving throw as the uh, train suddenly begins to break oh, hard no. and fast. You hear terrible oh. sounds screeching. Oh, oh. 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 hero oh. point. Call them out. Do I have a bonus or advantage or something because I've still got my claws? Go for it. Can I have Wait, are we still flying? Oh, oh, I'm going flying. 24. 24. Success. Uh, Dirty 20. Success. 10. Uh, Fail. 22. 22. Success. Would my crit success would I be able to grab you? No. No, you're in the other room. No, we came in. I came across the barrier as this happens. Oh, wonderful. Oh, Uh, no. Interesting uh, choice there, but no one needs to have known. As the train stops, Nick, you are flung directly forward over the door, over the roof of the front cabin as you go flying past it. As you sail through the air, you see an icy lake spanning around for great distance. Where this could be, you have no idea. There is no icy lakes between here and rings. You'll, you'll hear a fun! You also <laughs> see this moving shadowy mass all in front of the train. Thousands and thousands of limbs and heads moving about. Great solid structures pointing Ooh. through us, uh, like knives or clubs or tools. On the outside or under the uh, out of the train, mm-hmm. it's in, of, uh, in front, front of the, of the train, train so where I'm being back. flung. As you get flung closer and closer, you see massive fur, hooves, eyes, as thousands of reindeer block the train. Uh, as you go flying towards it, uh, yeah, you're going to take a real big hit. Yeah, I know. Um, the long and short is you're going down. Uh, you smash into one of these reindeer. It's a horrible sound and a very bad sound. God, you've hit a reindeer. <laughs> Train slows down. Sure not right off. <laughs> and I'm assuming a lot of you go out the front door, the conductor will be down the front of the jar, the way. Uh, yeah. conductor can revive Nick, I um, need to burn spell slots on that. Uh, Nick, you see, you wake back up with a skeletal hand in your chest, uh, beating your heart back. That's and then just uh, kind of so moves out with you. Drizella's oh. watching, watching this <laughs> strategy, and she takes Eltimit out and goes, we're going to learn to do that. 
No, you're bloody not. <laughs> no, you're bloody not. No. no. <laughs> ah. uh, is that reindeer? Apology. Okay? <laughs> uh, the reindeer is. <laughs> 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 You can't do it. No, oh, Nick will stand up. <laughs> Nick will stand up. <laughs> look, look at himself. <laughs> you should see the other guy. <laughs> uh, bleeding brokenly. <laughs> oh, that hurt. No, I just run over. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Feel the ring. Thousands, tens of thousands of rangers blocking the tracks. The conductor looks and says, "This will." Can see one with a red nose. Your perception check. <laughs> 17 on the dice plus 8 right so one of these days three, I think. I'm going to learn how to fly you I don't want that happening again do indeed see a oh, yeah. reindeer a glowing red light at the end of its nose as it's attached to a sled with a broken uh, snooge wheel oh. the, the ski thing yep. you know what I mean yeah. yep. uh, seems to have been broken and come off of it and you see an old man uh, a long white beard a big red cloak uh, standing on this open slate, uh, scratching their heads, mm. uh, seem to talk to one of the other nearby reindeer. <clears throat> is there fey lore about this reindeer? Is a, it's a fey, it's a fey lore. Oh yeah, am I going to hate Father Christmas? So that's, <laughs> that's the question. Uh, 14 plus 6, so 30, 20. 20. Um, this is in fact the winter giver. Winter giver. Winter giver. As opposed to the Yule Father. As it, yeah. Well, we've, we've done, we, they can be Yule Father as well if you like. No, Winter Giver. No, new name. New name. New name. The Winter Giver. Uh, the Winter Giver is fey in the colloquial sense, but not in the like, actual or accurate true sense. Lots of things are called fey. Oh, he's sense. a magical creature, but he's not fey. Very much like demons in this setting would also be called fey by most people. Um, mm. They're not. You've got magical people and non magical people. I'll walk up to the. the uh, that might gelatinous cube. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm gelatinous cube. I'm gonna ask him if I'm. That's cool. If there's something we can help him. Oh, you're very helpful, young man. Thank you. I appear to have broken my sweat. Hmm. Oh yeah, I'll transform back into my. Because I probably. I've, I've let Eldermit out, and so Eldermit is currently dancing across from reindeer back to reindeer back. What a strange young dog you have. <laughs> I'll be looking over the sleigh, seeing if it, if it needs wood repairs. Yeah, give us a because it's 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 sailing water. Sailing water. Yeah. Eldermit waits for him to turn his back and gives him the finger. Uh, dog. You see a face oh, you're, is he talking to him? Of a skeletal, emaciated horse with glowing red eyes and horrible fangs <gasps> pokes out the back of uh, this jolly man's head, uh, out the back of his long back hair as his back is uh, looking at the uh, yeah. man and just says, No, he comes on! <laughs> he comes back uh, in amongst the hair of the, uh, the winter dinner. I love that. <laughs> Who looks over and says, oh, 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 I thought I saw something rude there. But I <laughs> uh, you don't seem very well versed with your tools there. Uh, any idea what could be wrong? Uh, what did you get for your 26. 26? You are pretty confident you can repair this in you know, 25 minutes with a, a bit of help. Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty. Well, it doesn't look too much different to a, to a, a, some shipwright stuff. I can probably fill this up in 20 minutes. Is this yeah. a crafting okay. skill check? There will be a crafting yeah. well, skill. I'm good at I'll crafting. let you use sailing law. Can I see if there's anything magical about this? Whoa! Yeah. Oh, well, that doesn't I mean, uh, would that be Arcana? Uh, Arcana, uh, yes. Actually, this one will be religion. Ooh, it's a bit tight. 24. Okay. Uh, believe it or not, the sleigh is entirely mundane. The reindeer, the man, the reins, and the sack on the back of it. Seems all magic. Like don't all seem magic. Yeah. Mm. Uh, give us some crafting checks. What I got a nat 20 for 28 on crafting. 38, incredible. 21. 21, very, very good. Yeah, crafting? 12, I'm not sure. 12? You, are, you, you, you sit down like cold and crafting. <laughs> uh, I'll probably fun. get you to doing magic stuff. Yeah. Um, do either of you two want to check? Uh, help. Yeah, crafting check. Is the skeleton guy still over there? Yes, yeah, I'm going to go and ask the skeleton guy about that whole resuscitation chest thing. Uh, just, I have been charged with the uh, safety of the members of this train, and to that end, I can preserve their well being so long as they remain uh, citizens of the train. 
Fourteen. Uh, Fourteen will just about do the trick. Between the 14 and the 12, that counts as one good check, as the uh, four of you manage to reattach the scluge uh, to the giblet, I don't know, fix it on the ship, I don't know, that's um, Fix it up, some wood, some nails, everybody's happy. Uh, I'm going to give up, and kind of looks around you all and says, oh, oh, very good, very good, thank you. I must apologise for blocking you all the way. It's all good, sorry for... Well, well, it wasn't exactly my fault. The train stopped very abruptly. Well, there were these very rude people marching around in this strange armor with some banners, mm. and I thought to myself they deserved a little bit of a lesson. Uh, uh, and... Red hands on the, on the armor? No, no, a, a go- uh, no, a, um, a golden lion. I, I did not show. Mm. It has not been seen in these parts for many years. It's from far west, I believe, uh, far east, I believe. Uh, but I was, you know, getting rather low to give them a bit of a, a bit of a lesson for uh, such, uh, you know, uh, poor meaning frivolity, and I uh, overestimated the height of the ice wick and uh, chipped it. Fair enough. Yeah, so it's not as easy to fly as it looks. But uh, thank you. I have much to do tonight, and I'll be on my way. Uh, you see, uh, pulls out a little whistle and says, "All right, get all of you back into order," and then quite inexplicably, without the number of. They seem to line up perfectly in front of the sleigh, there to be only a few of them, uh, as the way is clear. That's really weird. Oh, it's a nice trick. You should see what I have to do it with uh, socks. They line up uh, quite a number of socks in a very small space to try hunting. Can I just ask, okay. in the 24 religion, do I know anything about the Winter Giver? Uh, you, absolutely. absolutely. You know their general gist, their Santa Claus. Yeah. Um, but also, they are also a very evil spirit that uh, devours and punishes the wicked. Yeah. And more good credit because he didn't bring him that skateboard all those years. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a red bike. <laughs> Terrible. Um, I, Sorry, I just song just popped in my head. Kevin Bloody oh, this guy, this guy is definitely like one of my heroes because I think yeah. Santa Claus just like gives to everyone so I feel like a Absolutely. So, like, so I'm, I want to, I want to give, it, I want to give him one of my rations Aww. as like a snack for the road. Thank you, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> Milk and cookies. Uh, yeah. In fact, he says, he says I, I, uh, I would reciprocate this trade. May I have a look at that sickle you carry? Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll hand him over my wine. So he goes, mm, yes, very good, very good, and hands it back to you. Uh, that'll work as a plus one uh, just for the next day. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Thank, thank you, yeah, my you comrade. Seems, seems <laughs> Very well. Can I, oh, sorry, yeah. can I cast light on this sled to show him the way better? Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, to light up Rudolph's nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so yeah. Nick, Nick pulls out the coin and just absentmindedly thumbs the coin. Because this is weird. Uh, you see, as he is <laughs> climbing up on the sled, you see the head again poke through the back of his. Uh, of the winter goes long uh, white hair, this strange evil face, uh, which says, Watch that coin! And then he slides back into the head that goes up. Very well, well, to all of you, a good night, and yes, <laughs> uh, picks up some reins, uh, whips those off, and does not fly away, but uh, the reindeer run off uh, skipping along the ice. Uh, the you, you all saw that, that, that second head, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I, I need, Can I just I like need, I need come more... and tap you on the shoulder and be like, I think I... you better be nice this year then, Nick. I need more, I, I need more whiskey. I need more whiskey. Gotta do the, what's and right quite for the right people. too, you see the conductor says. Uh, if you'd all like to retake okay. your seats, you'll be right. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, let's go. Yeah. You see yeah. you're all headed back onto the train, back into the seating area. You see uh, Memphis seems to have kicked back up and is currently taking a nap. Uh, Savan has what looked to be some sort of like uh, playing or picture cards um, out in, a, in an elaborate pattern, turning them over one by one, thinking. Uh, and uh, the uh, hitchhiker uh, appears to, as soon as the door opens, just bumps out the window. <laughs> Another whiskey, I, I should say. Uh, uh-huh. Other drinks will be served shortly. Can I see what Savan is doing with the cards? Yeah, give me a cultism check. And you see the train. Sorry, uh, sixteen. Train lurches back in, moving forward. It's back into the night. Uh, with a sixteen, uh, you see, uh, you would recognise these. Uh, your uh, your mother would use these quite a bit. Uh, these are tarot cards. Yeah. 
this seems to be a particularly interesting deck as they seem to move ever so slowly. You see uh, one of the cards, a hanged man, sways back and forth slightly in the breeze despite being in the ocean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sivar kind of no, uh, sees you looking over and says, uh, uh, a rather good uh, time of year for this sort of thing. I'm sure, with the parallax. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, well read, indeed. Does anyone do anything else in the last bit of the chain? I'll have another couple of vodkas. You have another couple of vodkas? Nick, Nick will just be sitting there going, I don't like trains. I don't like trains. <laughs> I love trains. I don't like trains. <laughs> I'm having a good really time. I'm wondering where the uh, winter gear is going to leave the gifts this year, given we're on the road. Absolutely. My old cottage in the forest has always found its way. Mordred just happened, he never got presents as a kid. Aww. That's good. Yeah, neither did you. Well, well, <laughs> neither did Nick, really. Drizelle is telepathically chatting to Eldermit. Mm. Uh, Elder, uh, Eldermit responds entirely in only. Yes! And <laughs> no! <laughs> come on, come on, there's got to be the occasion. Perhaps, maybe? No, literally, he, just, he, he rolls back onto, the, on, onto that part of something just. <laughs> the train continues on to the cold winter night. You see, in, uh, slowly and quite inexplicably, you transition from this frozen, open wasteland to the familiar green woods around you, and you arrive in what I presume to be the woods. And that is where we will finish up for today and for 2023. Thank you, oh, my thank goodness. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So, are we, are we playing next week? I'm around. Anyone else? Next week is the 18th. Is anyone else around? Yeah. yeah. I'm around. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, handy. Do you strive next week? I'll just leave in the last house, but it'll be fine. Huh? I'll just be going back home.